<clears throat> hello. <laughs> hello, 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 what's up? Spectacle man, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting game. I actually uh, came across this via a video essay by Ragnarox, who was waxing lyrical about it. And, uh, I figured I'd have to give it a go because I like stories of uh, an interesting kind. And this one's actually presented in a nice way as well. The pixel art looks really good in this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, a rather dark one compared to uh, some other ones that we've played in the past. Let me just uh, close this, uh, turn that off, and then switch to this, and hopefully it didn't crash because for some reason um, my graphics drivers went crazy like about half an hour ago, so I had to basically reboot it about four times before it actually settled. So hopefully that fixes it because uh, whatever it did, it killed basically everything. So yeah, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, Decarnation, it's, uh, it's an interesting little game, this. Um, basically it's all about a cabaret dancer that uh, whose life starts to unravel in some very bad ways and uh, we're gonna take you on a journey so this should be pretty good hopefully I mean um, you said uh, it should be pretty good um, in terms of like how the story is portrayed I haven't actually seen anyone play this yet besides that video essay so um, I haven't really spoiled myself on what actually happens um, but it should be a, a bit of a trip nonetheless. And yeah, you can probably see that there is quite a lot of uh, stuff that goes on in this game. Um, yeah, well, they have to put it in there just in case. Because uh, I don't think anyone actually puts uh, disclaimers in their horror games. Like, and uh, this is one of the few that do. So yeah, it looks good though. Well, we're going to accept. Let's just get straight in. Hopefully the, uh, the audio is there. Good it is. Right. Right. Decarnation. <clears throat> Did you miss the uh the disclaimer? You'll probably have to go back a few like a uh, few seconds to see it. Yeah, it looks pretty good this. I said the pixel art looks amazing in this. <clears throat> right, Ranger, what's up? Dabla Blue, what's up? How's everyone doing? Happy uh Tuesday? How y'all doing? Yeah, time for a new playthrough. Like, I've been keen to check this out for um, quite some time since I first heard of it. I actually wanted to play it in, in October last year, but uh, I think Fatal Frame took up most of my time there, so... But uh, this should be very good. I mean, I like the look of it already, um, and I'm very keen to see how this plays. Um, again, it's just going to be... It's a, it's a story game, of course, so... Yeah. Very much like some of the other games we've played already, like uh, the some of the gameplay mechanics do tie into, you know, uh, the story itself. And this should be really, really interesting. Anyway, let me just uh, check a few things first. So, what the hell's details? Oh, so action, menu, movement. All right, well that's easy. <laughs> well, did you want the? The, the content warning. What's settings very quickly? The uh, language options. We can actually have it in a variety of languages. Um, borderless full screen, which is what was causing it to go crazy before, probably. Font size is okay. Text bubbles. Press the volume. Delete the save. Return. One save file then. Yeah, Polish. Anyway. Paris, June 1989, Petrus's workshop. Also, we've got a naked ass already. <laughs> You're 29, right? Right. <clears throat> I just wanted to say I'm really excited to be here to experience this. Can you see that alright, the, the text? I might turn the text size up a little bit actually, because it looks kind of small. Let's say we were lucky. Lucky? That I found you in time, in your cabaret. Yeah, I'll turn it up, I Hold on then. Before everything falls apart. Let's go to settings. Let's see about 30. 
before everything falls apart. Wait, did not turn it up. Hold on a minute. I guess it's probably just this thing. <laughs> 160p. Can you actually set it to that size? No, probably not. Um, let's restart that just to actually... There we go, that text looks a bit bigger. Right. I think it zooms in, does it? Oh, that's better. There we go. You're 29, right? <clears throat> right. Just wanted to say, I'm really excited to be here, to experience this. Yeah, it's a girl. Let's say we were lucky. Lucky? That I found you in time in your cabaret. Yeah, so Gloria, our character is a cabaret dancer. And she's getting on a little bit. <laughs> she's getting on a little bit, I should say. Uh, getting a... Uh, be a bit older than usual. Um, that you would normally expect a cabaret dancer to be. Uh, before everything falls apart. Falls... Apart? Yeah, the wall, basically. <laughs> the other day I came across the first girl to pose for me. We weren't even 20 at that time. Ah, Fanette. As bright as the sun, a Botticelli comes to life, you know? And now, look what's left. The decrepit troll in clown's makeup. I'd like to take a break. Covered in cheap trinkets, clutching a little dog to divert the eye. Yeah, it's a little bit sexist already, isn't it? Makes me sick. Act one, the dancer. Four months later, Gloria's apartment. Mosh mosh. Yeah, the artwork looks really nice in this. The pixel art, like, quite nice. Is that a is that a Hoxai pit? <laughs> There's a Hoxai poster over there. <laughs> Look at the waterfall. Right, the morning face sure is the worst. Uh, okay. What is it? I hope she likes it. Oh, is that a present? Is it? Yes. Who is it? Seriously, it's Joy. Well, hello, cupcake. Oh, lesbians. Nervous? Think it'll be crowded? Joy, I didn't get off work until 2 in the morning. Go easy on me with the questions, okay? Oops, sorry. But yeah, I'm slightly anxious. Mostly curious to see what it looks like. Well, I imagine a statue of you will look... Like you, probably. You know what I mean. What will it say about me? What will people see in her? And will it make college girls weak in the knees? Don't know why I bother. Sure you do, come on. Get ready so we can go, I'll wait outside. Yeah. <laughs> the music. Right, what am I pressing here? Oh, stick up, okay, right. Stick down. Stick right. Looking quick time events. Also, we heart. We, the show I performed this summer. <laughs> Sexy twist on French Revolution. American tourists love it. Let's just explore her apartment first. It's not bad, got a little Jennifer Connelly go thing going on. Probably make the bed. There we go. Pick and span, look at these split. Here's a little blue box for Joy. Yeah, make sure I didn't forget that. Right. Some Gloria's dream diary. It used to be a cool idea, but now it's just where I write my grocery list. Don't have much of an appetite, okay. Oh, 
Call now and save up to 50% on Bye Bye Under Eye Anti-Aging Concealer. Daily use will be fatal, uh, vital for all your w uh, oh. <laughs> Daily use be fatal, uh, vital for your all new way to face the world. Fatal. Okay. I'm kind of dis distressing. <laughs> Wanna grab a cab? Sure. Could I? Locked as it should be. Okay, good. Go. Just slightly neurotic about leaving the door open. <laughs> up Wolverine and to think some people have kids on purpose you get the good with the bad every time I see her cradling the baby she looks content fulfilled <laughs> gotta make a good show of it keep her spirits up otherwise she'd never make it through 20 years of cleaning up after it I thought I could hear a baby. <laughs> Think they'll have champagne? At 10 in the morning? <laughs> St. Louis Foundation for Art, 10.30 a.m. Right, okay. Can you imagine a statue of me between a Toulouse-Lautrec and a... Modi... Modi Giuliani? No pressure, huh? Relax, Mona Gloria. It's gonna be stunning. You hope so. Hi. Hello. One adult and one student? Well, actually, I'm the model for the Petra statue. Maybe you left a note. My name's Gloria. Congratulations, Gloria. But there's no such note here. Oh, I thought that may be... All I have are tickets, adults and students. Are you for real? She was naked for that guy for three days straight. She's a famous dancer, you know. Just let us in. Absolutely. After you've paid. Whoever your famous dancer friend chooses to expose herself to is none of my concern. You. Yeah. Okay, Joy. This one's on me. It's not okay, Gloria. That artist jerk didn't even pay for your time. The least he could have done was buy the tickets. Ryan Zaki, what's up? Yeah. And these are uh, for you and for your passionate friend. Enjoy your visit. Uh, sure. It's not her fault, Joy. Gloria. You let a slug roll over you. Yeah, you would do that. Mostly coloured dots, fruit baskets and women. Clothing optional. Welcome to a French gallery. And this, is, and this one's a famous piece of pop art. A big ravioli can or something. But damn no. <laughs> right, what's this? The poster for this exhibition, In the Flesh. The Fine Arts Magazine, September 1989. Petrus, feeding on the female form. Mm. Wow, they sure drew a crowd and a half. I'm fine with that. That guy's snoring. Must have had a good time last night. Could be a black swan customer. <laughs> What's in the book? Last line reads, we came for the impressionists. Disappointed. Yeah, sounds about right. Stop gallery time. Take it from an expert. This is total bullshit. Yeah. Welcome to an art gallery. John Everett Millet. Ophelia, 1852. A woman immersed in a pond. If she's not dead, she's got me fooled. It's called sarcasm. <laughs> Famous bacon. Uh, Francis Bacon. Famous bacon? God, what the hell? Am I really that sleepy? Right. Francis Bacon. Study for a crucifixion. 1944. I think I've seen that one. What a gruesome creature. It looks like some kind of blind beast. All these disturbing images, they seem like they're stimulating something deep inside this kid. What's he looking at? Paul McCarthy, painter. You're unknown. Everything about this is gross. What kind of sicko comes up with this? Welcome to art. Abramovich and Ule, Light Dark, 1977. Man and a woman, a man and a woman slapping one another over and over. The pain is plain to see. Welcome to modern art. <laughs> 
blah 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 transformative her man utics why is that always so pretentious rise of abstraction marked the fall of art it's like my tax law professor what a psycho Rembrandt, the anatomy of the anatomy lesson of Dr. Tulp, 1632. Men in black robes and white collars, standing over a naked corpse, the poor guy is being dissected. Yeah. All about body horror. Red Rose looks way too pretty to be real. Probably is. John Honore Frangana, the lock, 1777. Man and a woman, a red curtain and a heavy door. Something murky emanates from this painting. I think, yeah, these are actually all real paintings. I don't know if they're... They probably are actual, like, pixel art depictions of them. Pretty close, actually. Hans Belmer, the doll, 1965. Two pairs of hips and two vulvae with a big round belly in the middle. I think I've seen that one as well. Hard to say if it's a critique of society or the artist's fantasy. David Keith Lynch. Bob loves Sally until she is blue in the face, year unknown. Is it blue for boredom, depression, or asphyxia? Takato Yamamoto. Nightmare, year unknown. A skeleton in a kimono caressing a woman. You can't tell by her face whether she's frightened or not. I think so. <laughs> guess my fancy guess my fancy bronze self should just yeah, guess my fancy bronze self should be just in here. Should probably talk slower, rather than narrate slower. Auguste Rodin, head of the Tragic Muse, 1891. Oh dear, you can see what's going on up there. <laughs> this one is mesmerizing. I can't tell if her eyes are open, closed, they're just gone. This one. Rao Hausmann, the spirit of our time, 1920. <clears throat> A wooden head. Impassive and adorned with mechanical odds and ends. Ah, here she is, bronzed Gloria, in all her glory. Wait, what? He. I. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Somebody call security. <laughs> oh, really? Joy? In your opinion, is this one or two women's bodies? It's for my stats on naked women in museums. Depends on what you consider to be the relative value of a minge versus a mug. <laughs> what kind of dialogue is that? <laughs> You know, I'm not surprised to hear you say that. Joy! Gloria! I... I think I'd like to go now. What, already? Let me check out your statue first. No, 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 don't bother, she's not that interesting. Doesn't have much tit to speak of either. Oh, dude! <laughs> what the hell? Leaving so soon? Yes. Was the statue really that bad? Yes. It's a shrapnel. Gloria, please. Seriously, what's going on with you? It's nothing. I just want to get out of here. But your statue. Get the statue. The real thing is standing right here. You're so excited to see it. Now you're just going to run away. That makes no sense. Just leave it. I want to do something. I don't know. Something fun. Hold on. Did I miss something? No, no. I just got a little worked up and... Look, let's do something fun this afternoon. You and me. Maybe go shopping or... I don't know. <clears throat> we can just chill at my place. Watch a movie. Not today, Glow. I've got to keep grinding away at this thesis paper. But I'll come see you tonight at this one. Sure, stop by my dressing room before the show. Cool, catch you later, Glow. Catch you later. 
Cupcake. <laughs> I mean, she's 29 years old. Col de Lyon, swimming pool. 11.30. That is a gigantic swimming pool, by the way. That's the problem with you. Everything has to be so complicated with you. Just want us to have a good time. But sooner or later, you'll bring it all down. The shame. Running from the past. <laughs> Drown it. Hush, kiddo. Get back to your books. <laughs> that is a huge swimming pool, by the way. <laughs> Black Swan Cabaret, 9.30pm. Yeah, that was a... not button mash, it was a push the stick down... Uh, thing. Ladies and gentlemen, dearest friends. This evening's final performance. Black Swan humbly presents for your pleasure. Mesmerizing. Mysterious and magnificent. Lady Gloria. Okay. The timing's a bit off. <laughs> Suddenly, rhythm game. You have to be pretty late actually for the hundred. Three stars is alright. I didn't see any diagonals though. <laughs> you missed the show. Sorry, I got caught up in catching up. How'd it go? The audience was thrilled as usual. Kinda needed that after this morning. Museum? Yeah, that hag at the counter was a total cunt. <laughs> I don't think they say that in France. Come on. Uh, no, I mean you, Joy. You were being so... Distant. Distant? You're the one who decided to split and wouldn't say why. I asked you to spend the afternoon with me. I told you I have a thesis to finish and it's important. Sure, your thesis. That's what it was. I thought you were supposed to be the mature one. What's with the tantrum? Tantrum? You're the baby here, not me. I don't know why I said that. It was stupid. Stupid, but kind of funny. Damn, Joy, I... Where? Who's... Oh, okay. I thought there was somebody in the closet. <laughs> I was just looking at it thinking, what the hell is that in the closet? No, it's not. It's just the closet's partially open and there's a dress there. Right, yeah? Patrice, what's up? I have something for you. What is it? Go on, it won't bite. Wait, what's this key? It's to my apartment, so you can come and go as you please. Wow, uh, this is a bit of a surprise. Hope you use it. I hope you feel about me the, s the way I do about you. Oh, Gloria, you're still here. Hey. How's it going, Mr. Director? What's this? Why are you here? Because class let out a few hours ago? And don't you have a home to go to? Okay, roger that. I'm out of here. <laughs> I thought, aren't we going home together? 
Look, I'm beat. I've still got tons of work to do. I'll call you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Promise. Bad girlfriend. Anyway, glorious Gloria, you sure you sure lived up to your name tonight. Thanks, Aldo. Such energy and the precision of your every move. Even though I dropped like about half of the inputs. Um, what's going on, Aldo? When you start with the compliments, I know it means something's up. <laughs> what? No, not at all. Ha. <laughs> Good. So. Well, I thought we could have a little check-in. A chat about this past year and the next. What's up, sword fam? It'll be a tenth with this one. So she's been with the this cabaret club since she was 19. Jeez. Can we leave it for another day? Right now I just want to go put my pants on and go home. Of course, Glory. Of course, there's no rush. Thanks, Aldo. Actually, let's do it tomorrow afternoon. Get it out of the way. Sure thing, boss. Gloria's building, 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, she's 29 in a cabaret club. One more year and she'll have hit the wall. <laughs> it's quite funny as well. Look at this. Baby. Love. Music. Welcome with a teapot. Oh, flowers. Are you? That's creepy. Hmm? Joy? <laughs> Not even a card. Doesn't seem like joy anyway. Probably another regular from the cabaret. Again. Um, I would be slightly concerned about a regular from the cabaret leaving flowers at your front door. You just chuck them over there. <laughs> that usually works. Glorious dream diary. Used to be a cool idea, but it's now just where I write my grocery list. Yes. What the shit was that? Okay. Mush mush. Miss Gloria? You yeah. who is it? I'm calling you on behalf of Mr. Saint Louis. San Louis? Like the San Louis group? Precisely. My name is Laurent Carno. Our president, Hervé Saint-Louis, would be very pleased to make your acquaintance. Your president wants to meet me? He's seen your performance more than once. Mr. Saint-Louis is uh, surely your most enthusiastic admirer and a rather significant patron of the arts. Painting, architecture, urban arts, and of course, dancing. It's the French. <laughs> have you received the flowers he sent you? Yes, I have. They're right here in all their splendor. Perfect. When would you be available to meet Mr. Saint Louis for a discussion about art and your future endeavors? Uh, that's kind of him, but I already have a boss. A pretty greedy one for sure, but I'm happy at the Black Swan. I'm sorry if I haven't been quite clear. It isn't simply a job that's been offered. It's a whole new step in your career as an artist. You'll have the opportunity to create your own show to your liking. You'll have a significant budget and complete creative freedom. Oh. Isn't that every artist's dream? We'll have a showing in Paris, of course, as well as uh, several European capitals, then New York, Los Angeles and Tokyo. All of the red flags, eh? Yeah, I mean, mine are going off like crazy at the moment as well. I've always dreamed of going to New York. Strolling along Broadway, seeing the Statue of Liberty. When would you be available for a more in-depth discussion with Mr. San Louis? Mr. Bastet? Actually, I don't think it'll be possible, I'm sorry. I'm not the artist your boss imagines. Thank you anyway for considering me. Goodbye. Wait, Gloria. Uh, Mr. San Louis, we just want to help you. Please take my number. If you change your mind, I'm at your disposal. Alright, if it'll keep you from getting in trouble with your boss, I'll take your number. And thank him for the flowers, they were a wonderful surprise. Even though I just chucked them on the floor. <laughs> Joy, 
I may have rushed into giving her a copy of my keys. Alright, I'll just leave her alone for two or three days. No calls, nothing. Detached. Mr. San Luis. Why me? It's not like I'm some outstanding ballerina or edgy underground artist. Sorry, my lord, but I'll pass. Aldo. I'm packing the crowds in this place. I should get a raise. 30% Aldo, I'm out of here. Heh, <laughs> that sounds good. That guy in the gallery. Why was I so scared of him? I should have grabbed him by the balls and dragged him away from my pedestal, kicking and screaming. Mom. I hope the weather will be nice enough to sit outside. And I hope she won't pester me and all that about marriage and career nonsense. 30 years old soon. Hitting the wall. My statue. Is she happy in her exhibition chamber? If I could, I'd install her in a lovely glade far from Paris. The groceries. I need to go shopping tomorrow, definitely. Tampons, bacon, vegetables, and a tiramisu. I've earned it. What time is it? Joy. Mr. San Louis. I mean, I would probably be freaking out too if I saw some dude busy gyrating behind my naked statue. <laughs> also, dream time. Let's have a look here. Hard strikes. Mud. A ravenous mouth. These aren't the same paintings, are they? A drowning princess. Strange characters forming illegible words. <clears throat> Last night I think I dreamed about the huge tree again. Glorious dream diary. What the hell was that? A prone body. A captive. A woman taken by force. A puppet. Joy. <laughs> Why did you think about Joy when you look at that? <laughs> God. What the hell is that? Is that Dob Keratops? <laughs> is that an R type painting? This disincarnation of a woman. I mean, it sort of looks like it, right? <laughs> R type first boss. 1989 <laughs> Tragic fate A puppet head Petrus, woman's flesh, 1989 Can't believe I used to be proud of this Disgusting Well, that just happened. Uh huh. So, how the heck am I supposed to get over there? Oh, okay, right. Hey, what's this? Guess you're not letting me look at the paintings? Alright. Too late. Splat. <laughs> Get away from me. What's over here? Hold on a minute. Wait, where did that other bridge go? Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. I guess it's a different way over here then, is it? What's that? Flowers? Can I get those flowers? 
Oh, you are kidding. Do I have to go the other way for that? Oh, well, never mind. Whatever. Let's say we were lucky. Shut up. Over here. Gloria needs therapy, yes. That is basically the game. Joy? So much matter. So much flesh. Stop feeling me up. Gotta go away. Still can't understand a word of it. Uh, okay, that's not good. Now what? Okay. <laughs> Tampons, bacon, vegetables. <clears throat> Is that the dream diary thing? Yeah. Wait, get off! Get off! Please give me a chance. No, get off. <laughs> Nasty man. Joy? Gloria, there you are. I've been looking for you. Listen, I need to tell you something. Back there in the room, a guy abused me. What? What did he do to you? No, you don't get it. Not to me, to my statue, but it was the same, Joy. I swear it was the same. Exactly the same. Oh. I see. Typical Gloria. Always making a bigger deal out of everything than she needs to. And it shouldn't matter so much to you, considering the job you do. The job I do? Well, we're going deeper into the isekai by the look of it. So, Gloria. <coughs> the statue. Are you happy? That mom, is it? She's uh, true to life. You must be delighted, then. I'll go see it when it's less crowded. It's a weird feeling. How so? Well, it's like... Like... Never mind, forget it. I must admit, I was surprised you'd agreed to pose. You never listened to me, so I haven't said anything, but... Mom? The statue highlights the sculptor, not the model. Everybody remembers Rodan, but not the poor man he forced to spend hours with his chin on his fist. And while your sculptor gets all the glory, you're wasting your youth and your potential in that sordid cabaret. Mom? Gloria, darling. You are a dancer, your body is your livelihood, you work hard to maintain it, but... Well, you know what I mean. I remember what it's like. Yeah, yeah. If you don't try to evolve, you'll end up in trouble, and sooner than you think. What makes you think that I don't take care of my career? Why, is there some sort of news, darling? Yeah, there is. There's a new project, an artistic one. Another statue? No, not at all. International show, one where I'm in control. Well, isn't that something? And with what money exactly? Money from the Saint, Saint Louis Foundation. Saint Louis Foundation, like the Saint Louis Group? Precisely, Hervé Saint Louis is a rather significant patron of the arts and my most enthusiastic admirer. You should have seen the flower arrangement he sent me. Yeah, then I chucked it on the floor. <laughs> it was massive. Yeah, then I threw it on the floor. And why did he approach you, by the exit of your cabaret one evening? Of course not, I met him at a cocktail party. Lies. <laughs> Is there a rat on the left there? Next to the statue. Yeah, there's a rat over there on the next to the statue. <laughs> Gloria, it may not happen often, but I have to say that I'm impressed. <laughs> We're considering a world tour. Tokyo, New York. Hervé trusts me completely. I should call his assistant back, by the way. As soon as possible. 
relax one time. Oh dear. Aldo, you're doing auditions? You didn't tell me. Hey Gloria, didn't Stephanie fill you in? <coughs> you didn't ask me to, sir. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad you're here. Did I ask the candidate to stop for a minute? No, we've got to see so many others, there's no time. You wanted to talk to me. Listen, Gloria, you're our most experienced dancer here and the hardest working one. And therefore, I get a raise? <laughs> Big grin. <laughs> ah, funny. That's not the point right now. Gloria, I want you to become the Black Swan's head coach. The what now? Let me explain. Next year, we're moving up from five to eight or maybe ten dancers. The new ones, heck, even the current ones need some training. They look cute on stage, but their technique, let's just say they haven't exactly come straight out of Nor Reeves. So I thought about you. You can manage them. Train them. Aldo, training dancers is a massive workload. Adding that to my own dance practice, I don't think it's possible. Not adding to, Gloria. Replacing. Wait. What do you mean? Well, there's no need to kill yourself on stage if you're the head coach full time, is there? But you've earned a little rest and security, Gloria. I don't want to be benched. I want to stay on stage, Aldo. This is my life. Next year and the year after that and... Gloria, what's up, sadistic elf? He's not an asshole. I don't think so, you know. <laughs> to be honest, I think that's a, that's a nice... Nice way of saying you're getting too old. <laughs> and at 40, and at 50, and at 60. <clears throat> mm. ah, excuse me. Right. Hi, Wins, what's up? Yeah, it's expanding the business. Gloria. You know you have to pass the torch someday. You've been on stage for nine years. Were you playing, um... Uh, Dune yesterday, High Winds? <laughs> it was a bit late for me to watch when I saw you start up. I mean, I feel like most cabaret owners would have just said, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's nice that he's actually given her uh, a different, like, path to a job, but I think she just wants to stay on stage. For as long as possible which is kind of fair enough if you're like a performer but uh you also have to be more cognizant of how old you are at this point <laughs> yeah exactly he's actually trying to keep her in employment but i think she's just too blinkered to see that again hitting the wall like delusional slightly <clears throat> <clears throat> you know you have to pass the torch someday you've been on stage for nine years i'm not even 30 aldo <laughs> Better even, you'll be a hip head coach who is closer to a dancer's. You'll get the hang of managing others pretty quickly, you'll see. Aldo? Now, now, you're all right. I'm begging you. When you've had some time to think about it. It's funny because the other job opportunity was basically practically the same thing. <clears throat> so it's like, you know, why don't you just take one of them? I mean, you're not going to be old enough to... <laughs> You know, do this forever. <laughs> I, know, I like how this splits chat. It's actually quite funny so far. Real life. This is good. I like this. I thought this story would be uh, somewhat hitting. That's why I play it. Yeah, Gloria does have some massive insecurity issues. I mean, again, I think... Uh, it's it's pretty fitting how they portray the characters in this game. It they've done it in a like a cutesy graphical style, but I think that probably does help a little bit with some of the um the slightly uh harder hitting issues in this game. <laughs> 29 is 30. Yeah, 29 and a bit. <laughs> You'll thank me, you know. Eight o'clock a glorious pace, is it? 
it's kind of uh it's kind of weird how you've got this like sort of pixel art style but then you've got this really high resolution like vocal audio as bgm when usually when you've got like pixel art like this you would have like chip tune music instead it's uh, it's kind of it's Ooh. oh joy sorry for showing up unannounced haven't you got a key uh-oh she's gonna give the key back isn't she no i'm glad you did why didn't you wait inside don't you have the key i gave you I do. Cavity blew up in the bot. You. It's not just about the key, Gloria. Listen. Go for it. I've been listening a lot lately. It's about us. You're everything anyone could ever ask for, and you'd be perf someone's perfect partner someday. Frankly, I had a great time with you these last three months. That's not really a a long, like, uh, relationship, this, is it? But here we are, heading for more. More than just a good time, and I don't see that for myself. It's a situationship. <laughs> Lesbian situationship. I understand. The thing is, she is, like, 29, and I think Joy is probably, like, 21, 22-ish. So please, take back the box, the key. It's not me, it's you, you old. <laughs> it was lovely of you. You'll have every right to be angry at me. Or sad. That'd be normal and expected. Angry? Me? What could I possibly be angry about? Yeah, she's putting on a brave face there. I don't think you can see that very well though on the, uh, the stream. All of this. Me ending our relationship. How could I be angry at you? I have no right. It's a relief, actually. We're so different. It it would never have led anywhere. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, go on. I'm sure you have classes to prepare for. Take care, Gloria. <laughs> Brave face. Well, time to throw the box somewhere then. Everything is fine. My god, you're making me do this without a marker. Almost. Well. <laughs> Hello? Good evening, it's Gloria DeBaste. Gloria, a pleasure to hear from you. How are you doing? Absolutely wonderful. I'd like to accept Mr. San Luis' proposal, I mean. The show, the tour, everything he wants from me. I accept. Hello? Yes, my apologies. That's such wonderful news, a surprise to be sure. Very well, Gloria. We will need to speed things along. Uh, book a meeting with Mr. San Luis. Let's, let me check his agenda. Tomorrow morning. 7.30, at the park in the Boulogne Woods. Well, that's a... The Boulogne Woods at 7.30 in the morning? Yes. Mr. San Luis loves the tranquility of the place at dawn. Will that be a problem for you? 7.30 in a park. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Not at all, it's perfect. 
<coughs> You're gonna need directions. Listen carefully. At the end of the main alley, there is a path on the right which cuts through the woods. Oh, yes. Take that path, walk it until you reach the lake. Why is there furniture everywhere? Uh, slight concern as to why there are... F yeah, this is not exactly a place I would actually go to meet someone who's apparently famous. Many artists have painted or sung about that place. Really? It's a shithole. <laughs> it's France? Is that a pill? Hold on a minute. Is that a pill? <laughs> what is that? Somebody's pants? What looks like condoms? Okay. This is a rather sus place. Miss the sandwich. Ow. Oh god. Oh dear. Act 2, the captive. Where? Where? Get up, girl. Come on. Welcome to your new home, Gloria. Your meal will be ready soon. Who are you supposed to be? Mr. San Louis? I am the maestro of this great house. My meal? I didn't order anything. Where am I? Don't be afraid. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Dinner will be served shortly. What house? Hey you, where the hell am I? I need to use your phone. Hey, I need to make a phone call. Said I need to make a call. Oh my, oh dear, I'm so sorry. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why, who the hell are you? It's just me, Bob. Humble servant of this great house. Bob. <laughs> I did not have given him a more um, unique name. <laughs> Bob! Hey, I'm Steve. What? Wait? Jim! <laughs> we both do as the master says. Trust me, it'll all be okay. Wait a minute. I know you! The creep from the museum! Oh my goodness, you were at the museum that morning. I shudder to think how that must have looked. But I had to do it. Otherwise, they never would have been accurate. Accurate? The measurements. The master gave me this measuring tip to take the statue's measurements. For the clothes. Fit for a princess. Things are always better when we do as he says. Don't need a personal shopper, let me out. I'm so sorry. Look, I understand. Starting, call, starting a new life can be disorienting. But this is real. The master brought you here and we're going to take care of you now. Master? Measurements? New start? D no. No, no. You're kidding, right? Or am I seeing things? Gloria, wake up! 
I have meetings and, and a show. My audience needs me. I have to go now. Or I'll miss curtain call. Can't be. Real? It's a massive recipe for disaster, obviously. <laughs> An old card box. Ugh, smells like dust and mold. How long have we down here? What the hell is this? Is this bed? What's this? You're the one who brought me here? Who would have drawn these? Looks like a kid did it. Gate's okay, gone. Now just a big staircase to an unlikely exit. You hope so, right? <laughs> oh, don't you dare Metal Gear Solid me this. <laughs> Wait, does that a photo of us down there? What's that picture? Hold on. Dirty memories. Early morning is the time for regretting late night decisions. Ah, okay. Right. Gotta explore this bit. It's autosave, so it's alright. <laughs> I remember. I was so shy at that age. Oh, so that was her. There was that sketchy music teacher who was always creeping me out. What's that whispering? That's a little bit... Unnerving. Nothing over here, is there? No. <laughs> what the sweet Jesus is this? <laughs> the swan? The crowd is gathering. Of course they're waiting for me. Wait, 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 what the hell is that? No ah, shit! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hold on a minute. Fake eyelashes and too much lipstick. They just eat that up. Man, she's tripping out hard. Spotlight can't work its magic without darkness. And so I guess I have to switch everything off, maybe? Nothing over there. Can I go up the stairs? Well, I actually want to uh, investigate the... Uh... I'm not exactly feeling comfortable here. How do I get backstage? Alright, so I've got to go backstage then. <laughs> Submissive ear, mindlessly marching to the beat. Okay. See, Alda, sometimes the show has to stop. So that more important things can go on. Oh shit. So I guess I've got to go for the spotlight then. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Just gotta go for the spotlight, I guess. Here we go, fresh meat or old wax. The important thing is what's underneath. Are we melting that? Yeah, okay. We've gotta go that way, I guess. What the hell? How many years has it been since my last show? 
This isn't your place though, right? Oh, it is. Alda always had champagne to spare. But we had to buy our own makeup for the shows. Oh, he's a cheapskate, okay. Jeez. A few mismatched dresses. We're the only birds that get to choose our feathers. Ugh, this staircase is twisted in more ways than one. Uh, yeah, I would say she probably needs a lot of therapy at this rate. <laughs> yeah, the details are really nice in this pixel art. It's a really good game, though. Like, in the way it's presented. Ah, Fanette. Bright as the sun, a Botticelli comes to life, you know. That was Petrus. You've earned a little rest and security, Gloria. That's Aldo? Well, the clothes fit for a princess. Servant. you don't try to evolve, you'll end up in trouble and sooner than you think. She returned because I want to see what the other one was. You were so excited to see it, now you're just going to run away? That makes no sense. Joy. Yes, okay. I thought that was, uh, Victoria. I wonder if you fail that and it actually does something bad. <laughs> just four. Day two. Oh, we've woken up. Ugh. So I guess there was a dream then. Doors closed and won't open like that. Okay. This lock is like the one we used for the magic show last year. Maybe I can pick it. Just need to find something sharp enough. More stuff. Plastic plants, drab colours, and not a speck of dust. Everything's lined up perfectly. I like how the camera very slowly turns to watch what we're doing as well. Some kind of fake window? Guess this is the view of New York I'd always dreamed of. This glass eye. They can't be watching every single minute, can they? None of these clothes are getting me out of this. Toilet. Won't be able to find a way out down... <laughs> Won't be able to find a way out down those pipes. <clears throat> Basic toiletries? There's... Has to be something here. Uh, gotta keep looking. This. Hi, um, excuse me? Hello? I need to leave. Hey, is anyone there? Oh, you're not going to open up? Fine, I'll do it myself. Uh, got to keep looking, I think. Aha! I can do windows with a nail file. Nice. <laughs> Let's do this. Could almost... Damn, it won't go deep enough. I need something thinner and sharper. Time to look around more. <clears throat> Once I've picked the lock, I'll take this broomstick with me. As a weapon. Time to get more frantic as we look around then. I wonder if the hangers... Damn, nothing. Like they did it on purpose. Right. Too bad I can't escape that way. The little chain from the tap? Nah, useless. Hmm, I haven't checked the trash can yet. And... A smelly void. Lots of stuff, but none of it's useful, like set dressings? Uh, nothing? Uh, nope. What's this? 
Some help you are, typical mannequin. Wait, it looks like someone stuck a hairpin in your shoulder. I think I'll need that more than you do. You don't have your hair, and I need it for my great escape. Time to break out my inner Houdini. Uh oh. Luckily I didn't tell Aldo about this patronage opportunity. Tomorrow I'll be back at the spawn like nothing happened. <laughs> Did I tell anyone about these freaks locking me in this room? Crazy stuff if Joy finds out. Hmm. He'll definitely call me back. I'm sorry to interrupt, but... I'm afraid you can't open a lock like that with a hairpin. What you're doing only works in the movies. Uh. By the way, do you recognize it, Gloria? The hairpin. It's the same as the ones you've used after you'd go swimming. What the fuck? <laughs> Paid attention to every detail. How'd you like your new bed? Lovely, right? Like something out of a fairy tale. The swan bed? They have it in black, but the white one looks more joyful. I'm sorry you don't yet feel at home. But pointlessly twisting a tin hairpin in a steel lock won't change that. Get some rest. You'll feel better tomorrow. There you go. Ugh, what a weird dream. Where did that come from? What day is it? Oh man, Joy's gonna be here soon. I've gotta get the... the... Uh, where'd I put it? Nightstand, maybe? My bag. Would've made sense, but it's not in here. Not in these drawers either. Gonna be here any. Uh, she's gonna be here to pick me up any minute. I need to find it now. Fuck, where'd I put it? Not in the fridge. Fridge? No, I'm not that crazy. Microwave? <laughs> what am I gonna do if I can't find it? What a nightmare. Of course, the TV stand. Nope, keep looking, Gloria. Bathroom, perhaps? In the bathroom, maybe? Nope, damn it. Let me guess, we're gonna turn the bedroom, the entire apartment, upside down to find it. <laughs> Not in here. i look for interactive things. Uh oh, crap, uh, coming! <laughs> Looks like I've missed my chance. Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely, I just need two more minutes. So that's a no, Gloria. I can just go alone. No, I'm ready, honestly. What about you? You need anything before we go? Anything I can do for you? Can we just go? I'm a little stressed out. How about a bite to eat? Food always helps with stress. I've eaten already, but thanks. Actually, I'll just use the bathroom real quick. At least have a glass of milk. Nice tall glass of cold milk. Let me get it for you. Mom used to give me one when I was stressed. Just coping hard. <laughs> it's the least I can do. The very least. The least, but not the most, Joy. I would do a lot of things for you. Anything, actually. You know that, right? 
Right? What the hell you huh? Well, this is cozy. <laughs> also, the bottle of milk is overflowing. <laughs> so intimate in here. So delicate. It's good of you to... Let me in. Could this be real? Are these people serious? Putting someone in a creepy bedroom and paying a butler to feed them? Can't wait to see their faces when the police find this place. You need to get out first though. At very least, get your food. So, do you like it? Could do with a bit more salt. Gratin Dauphinois was a staple at home. Yeah, Dauphinois is actually quite nice, you know. <laughs> My mom used to serve it on Sunday nights. <clears throat> she told me how to cook it. Although she put a lot of cream in it, I don't use as much. Gotta watch that figure, right? Okay, listen. We need to talk about this. Talk about what? The situation, me in this cage. What do you think's gonna happen here exactly? Because I won't dance for you. I won't play nice or be a good girl. Doesn't matter if you starve me, bully me, beat me. I won't do what you or your boss tell me to. And the longer you keep me here, the worse it will get for you. Every policeman in the country must be looking for me right now. It's a matter of days, maybe hours before they find your place. And my mother. You think your boss is tough? You've never seen my mother when she gets pissed. And believe me, kidnapping a daughter will piss her off right off. So here's the deal. By the time I finish eating this lovely gratin, I want this door open and a cab waiting for me outside. <clears throat> as simple as that. I am sorry, I don't have the key. That's okay, go grab it. I'm finished eating anyway. That can't happen. I'm so sorry, Gloria. The master keeps that key with him at all times. Bob, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure you're risking more jail time than you can handle. I can't get you that key. And even if I could, I wouldn't. The master would punish me for disobeying him. It would be really bad. Well, get the key and come with me then. I deserve to be punished. You'd be free. He would never hurt you again. Gloria, I don't need to be freed. This is my home, I like it here. The master takes good care of me and he trusts me. Bob, I'm begging you. Maybe you should give him a chance. He might be surprised by how happy he can make you. I have to go now. Goodbye, Gloria. No, wait! I hope that soon you can be happy here. Just like I am. Please, Bob, stay! Please? Oh dear. Just want to be... Free. Freedom? Freedom is what I'm offering. Out there you are trapped, drowning in an ocean of fear and uncertainty. In here you have the opportunity to elevate yourself and to be treated with the kindness and attention you deserve. Please just let me go. Don't worry Gloria, someday you'll understand. What is he doing in our apartment? <laughs>
Good morning, Gloria. I hope you've had beautiful dreams. What's that smell? I was sure you'd recognize it. <coughs> Soothing scent and sound of fluffy pancakes cooking in the pan. Have a seat. Please. Flowers? I know it's a little weird. But I'm honored to take care of you, Gloria. I think you're a sweet and kind person. And so am I. Chocolate sauce on top? Ah, uh, this feels like acceptance to me. <laughs> She's very slowly accepting her situation. <clears throat> sure, I guess? Of course, who could refuse? Why are you drinking the chocolate sauce? It's a personal recipe. Pinches of gratitude and goodwill. Lots of happiness. What the shit? <laughs> well, that's a nightmare and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate on top. <laughs> Day four. Good morning, Gloria. <laughs> Looks like you've had a bad dream. But I'm in a bad dream. Who's to say we don't choose our own interpretation? Sometimes all you need is a change of perspective. Cut the spiritual bullshit, stalker. I'm not up for it. Yes, but looking inward can be as rewarding as looking out. Man, his voice is really starting to grate on me. In this room. There's something in here I need to investigate, maybe? Uh... Hello, hello. What do you want? Won't you? Won't do you any good not to eat? Screw you too. I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have to do anything you say. Of course you don't. I'm so sorry. I'd really hoped you'd like my grandmother's meatball recipe. Though I suppose they're a bit overcooked. I'm so sorry. Are you crazy? Do you expect me to just sit here and talk about food? Let me out, right now! Wish I could, I really do, but I don't have that kind of power. I'll do my best with the cooking, however. No more overcooked meatballs, I promise. Sorry, I have to go. Master schedule fitting is about to begin. However you say that. <laughs> Let me out of here, you asshole! Mmm. Fitting, yeah. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. You can't just keep me here forever. I'll make you pay. I swear I'll make you pay. Look at that! Everyone's favourite victim on her knees yet again. Do you remember the first time we met Gloria? It's close to midnight, the subway train is half full. <laughs> this creep is really crowding me. Suddenly he pushes me against the wall. It's gonna hurt me and nobody's batting an eyelash. Nobody but you. You step in, push him back and whisper. It'd be better for you if you took off, pal. <sighs> Such a tough lady. 
You turned out to be a fraud, but back then, I was in awe. Okay, I can do this. Whoa. Are you sure you really did that? Nope, it's a dream. <laughs> Notice how she's actually wearing a nightgown now? How do you open this? Door? Looks like there's a pile of bones in there. It smells like tea? Are those two bundles in the corners of the room dogs? Hold on. Why leave? We have everything a woman like you needs. Looks empty. This. Got a football. Push the ball! Don't know where it's going though. Right. It smells weird and acidic in there. Oh god. Chess puzzle, is it? Uh, yeah, bishop, knight, and rook. So that's targeted by that. I see what I need to do here. I think I need to... Yeah, restart. That's fine. What's that? uh, I think I need to get them onto the... Uh... So do I move the knight over here? Pitch it. Uh, put this one here. Put you here. Oh fuck! Shit. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! I got that. Ah, balls! <laughs> shit! Hold on. <laughs> um, how am I gonna do this? Oh, idea, right? You get over here. You get over here. No, nope, but oh, fuck. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so how do you restart it actually? Hold on. Okay. Oh, so that's what that is, right. So I guess the idea is to have all of the pieces on the uh the markers. The question is, it's the right way to do this because you can't have two pieces move at the same time. Um, so there has to be one at a time. So I think maybe the uh... hmm. uh... think, 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 think. You there. Yeah, both pieces can't move at the same time. 
What was that though? That's okay, right? So, that moves there. Actually, do this. Shit. I'll put you here. You. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. Nope. Knights in the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me figure this out on my own. I think I know what to do. It's just I actually need the right order of moves to do it, that's all. <clears throat> so it seems like you do need to have the the pieces on Yeah, because if you stand on this panel or one of the panels here, it actually lights that hand at the back, which means that uh, it has to check to see which one, uh, to see if these are actually lit up. Right, so just let me think here. So the idea of this is to actually have these pieces out of the way as soon as possible. So you get over here. You get over here. That's the bishop dealt with. <coughs> means that I want you here and I want you here and then bring the rook over here and then bring the knight over here da -da 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 -da. done it no it doesn't matter but that's probably the correct solution now how do I open the door ominous heraldry is made of an eye a hand and a cube with three different colors Is that correct? Oh, okay. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me reread that very quickly. I hand in a cube with three different colors. The bishop does look like it goes on that right side because it grays itself out. What are the three colors though? No, the colors... Hmm. No, 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 shit, shit, shit. Actually, I want you... Fuck. That did make a noise though, didn't it? So... Yeah, it doesn't change the sound effect or the visual for it. i put the... Fuck. Actually... Nah. You get back up there. Right. I need the rook down here first. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I think I got it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you are kidding. <laughs> right, so the ro the bishop needs to go on the eye. The knight needs to go on the hand. So I was sort of correct, just not in the right order. And then the rook goes on this. Is that correct? There we go.
Yeah, so I was halfway there, just had the wrong piece order, that's all. So the bishop actually needed to be swung to the left instead of uh, directly across to the, the right. <coughs> that is a weird ass dog, what the hell? <laughs> There's a small door here. How does it open? Hmm, something's under the carpet. Oh, a key. Right, this key's too small for that lock. Key fits nicely. It's a fine silver. There's a fine sliver of raw flesh in the drawer. I'll take it with me. Raw flesh, is that for the dog, is it? <laughs> yeah, the the painting. I I don't recognize that face. Rather not wake him up, he could start barking. The leeches are feasting. Fresh meat bought brought these monsters back to life. Small door here. How does it open? Do I need the key, I guess? What? By the way, if you haven't... If you can't see it on stream, the uh, the dog's bowl actually has Bob written on it. <laughs> yeah, the dog's bowl actually has Bob written on it. You can probably just see it on stream. <laughs> just saw... Hey. Portrait seems more vivid than earlier. I'd have to stand on here and wait for it to spin. Man, there's some weird shit going on here. So how do we... This giant door should lead to the master's private apartments. It's locked for now. That sounds pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> I would be up for playing that. That sounds like something I'd be keen on. I like weird stuff like this. Good boy sleeping peacefully, unaware of his master's crimes. Okay. There's no way back down. There's got to be something to do with this. <laughs> okay, there we go, right. So is this the key to this door? Bye bye doggy, I need to go back home, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, so she's still stuck in dream world then. <coughs> Out for good. You hope. How am I going to leave this place? Looks like the bridge stops here. This post looks a bit small to stand on. Lucky for me. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm sure the water here is almost soothing. <laughs> Nailed it. How the hell do you do this? Right. Balances a dancer's life. Okay. Hit the green thing. Oh, that's tricky. Ah, I've missed it. Oh. And this balance is one thing nobody can ever take away from me. Yeah, she is, uh... Losing it. I could drown. That would fix everything. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm Zaki. Can't say for certain though. This is kinda fear and hunger. 
I've never seen a statue look so embarrassed. She needs to be spotless. Clean room is a clean mind. Don't tell me this is all her. <laughs> I get the sneaking suspicion these people are all her. So young, so talented. Sinking to the bottom. I could drown. That would fix everything. Yeah, just dunk yourself in the, the toilet. That might work. Flush your head down the bog. So that one-eyed pigeon... Look at the pigeon on the tree. It's like basically an eyeball with a pigeon body and wings. <laughs> this is some fucked up imagery. <laughs> Come on, Gloria. What the hell? Is that mom? Oh, there you are, Gloria. We've been expecting you. How do you know my name? Just a guess. You look like a Gloria. <laughs> Weird. Wait, did you say you've been expecting me? Who are you anyway? Don't you know? How would I? I just met you. Did you? I don't have time for this. Oh, you're in a hurry to be somewhere? Yeah, actually I'm trying to get home and I really don't have time to talk. Home? What a beautiful concept. Especially when the bathroom is equipped with a rain shower and the bed has clean silk sheets. Are you homeless? No, Gloria, that's you. Is that how I appear to you? Oh no, I don't judge people on their looks, but... Bench sitters around here are usually tourists or vagrants. You don't really seem like a tourist to me. You're right, I don't have a home. But I don't need one because I have something bigger. A penthouse? <laughs> something better. Take a deep breath and look up. What? The sky blue smiles above the roof. It's tenderest. The green tree rears above the roof. It's waving crest. Wow. I learned that poem in middle school. I'm amazed that you know it as well. Who could have imagined? You want to stay a while with me on that bench? Watching the sky and breathing? I, I appreciate the invitation, but... I, have a, I had a difficult night. I'm tired, hungry, and I stink like a moldy basement. So I'm going to go home, take a shower, and sleep forever. I understand, Gloria. It's part of your journey. You can't skip any steps, even if the path is a spiral. But don't worry, Grey Braid. I'll keep breathing, I promise. Just remember, if you need any help, you know where to find me. And don't forget to make some room in your chest. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, this is all her, including this one right here. That's what it feels like. Maybe if I just wait, it'll open up. Yeah, this is all her. It's not like I'm going to be here forever. Oh, you probably will be, though. Make some room in my chest? What the heck does that mean? Do you ever look out on the horizon and wonder, would things be different if I wasn't so stubborn? <laughs> you need implant. Where did the old woman go? <laughs> I've thrown a coin and made a wish. I don't think it'll come true. <laughs> Tampons, bacon, vegetables, and a tiramisu. I should have picked up the groceries. Yeah, I figured this was all her. <laughs> I could have been in the San Luis group. No one would have been able to compete with me. Why did I say it was a relief? Why did I why didn't I fight to win her back? We could have grown old together. A lot of regrets. But the imagery is really nice in this, like as well. Like the artwork on the, the wall there. 
You're already old, she wasn't. Yeah, she had her whole life ahead of you. <coughs> right, so who's on the bridge? Look at this gate. I would kill to get inside this castle. Really? Can I actually see what's on the plaque on the front? Yeah, okay. The dancer, 1789. She looks audacious and free. Even in the jaws of the beast. Oh, I only just noticed that actually, yeah. <laughs> Can't go in through the doorways. Doesn't look like there's anything to explore here. Uh, Paris will always be Paris. Yeah, this is exactly what Paris looks like, Gloria. <laughs> Even down to the slums. Can't speak to the people. What's this? Newspaper. Is that my face on this journal? <laughs> yeah, love the fresh ten flesh tentacles of Paris. <laughs> now, Lynn, what's up? Good evening. Can confirm. Why are the tentacles carrying baguettes under their tentacles? <laughs> Books about Haussmannian architecture and existentialist philosophy. Hmm. What's down here? Void? The Nest. Never heard about this club. Not even gonna bother pronouncing that. <laughs> it's life, it'll pass. These are urns like for ashes or spices. It's weird little tentacle creatures running around as well. Eat your greens, mommy used to say. That's what's over there. Yeah, this totally looks like Paris. Where the hell are we going? Sixty-eight Beaumarchais Boulevard. I made it. This home is it? Are the garbage collectors on strike or something? Possibly. I think her mind is fractured now. <laughs> We've very much lost the plot now. <laughs> Nothing here, is there? Anything in the apartment? Keys! Fuck! I don't have my keys. Uh, hello? Who's there? Cage? Head? Uh, okay. Can you help me get in my apartment? She can. Outside voice can have this. Big ass nail. Bet I can use it on the lock. Thank you, basement voice. Wait, can you help too? Sure, what do you need? She don't want to annoy outside voice. You're not annoying me. What can I do for you? It drip, drip, drip. On her head. Exhausting. You need something to cover yourself with? Yes, outside voice is sweet. It's Gloria, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, there's an umbrella here. Hold on. <laughs> huh. Nothing except for this crappy umbrella. <laughs> Well, that worked. <laughs> Here's all I could find. Sorry it's not in better shape. 
I hope it's... She good! You nice outside voice. Do you have a name, basement voice? She... She mess in the head. The cage. Alright, I'll see you... Uh, have a good day. <laughs> come on. Yeah, got it. Home sweet home, here I come. A bit of a dump in there. It smells like lemon fresh detergent, detergent and old rubber. This is definitely my place. Any mail? A flyer for a Pacific cruise and a stack of fashion catalogs. Who do I have to travel with and who do I have to dress up for? Yeah, we have very much lost the plot at this point in time. I think. <laughs> More so than usual. You never know what people keep hidden and locked up tight beneath the surface. Sometimes it's better that way. Uh, am I supposed to go somewhere? Oh, yeah. Can't wait to take a shower. Third floor, here we go. Very much lost the plot. Yeah, considering her circumstances. Maybe a glass of wine first before rinsing off? <laughs> or after with a pizza? Where'd all the mats go? Well, you can tell this is a dream because it's not even anywhere near laid out the same. Oh god. Too late to knock. What did she say? Not normally want to eavesdrop, but... Please, darling, stop crying. Mommy can't take it anymore. Maybe I can lend a hand? Well... Fuck. Wait, do I actually have to do this manually? Up then? What is this? Fucking weird ass shrine up here? <laughs> Did I just get music or something like that? What's it? Look like there's anything here. Okay. Down, please. Okay, there we go. Right. The floor two is basically just this, apparently. Let's take this one instead. Oh! I know what you do here. Okay, so... You need the doormats. So it was baby first. Baby's finally quiet. Sleep tight, little love. Mommy needs a rest too. Yeah, so it was baby, and then... Whoa, what the flying fuck was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Neva, this is the kind of thing you can't fix with an apology. What was the second one? Was... Baby... Oh, was love or something, wasn't it? You get the, uh... Was there another floor here? Hold on. Oh, there is another floor. Hold on. Ah, there it is. The love hearts. Yeah, so this puzzle, you actually need to put the, uh... The right doormats down, I think. So I think it was... Pacifier... Love hearts. Oh, I can't remember what the other one was. I know the keyboard was sometime after, I think. 
Am I a fool for trying to fix things between us? Or is he a coward for giving up? Okay. That lot every day keeps the demons at bay. So, was it floor two? Because floor one was the ground floor. Yeah, because that's the, that's the baby's one now, so I don't need that one. How many floors are there? Just double check. Oh, the teapot. No, the teapot. Try to remember which order it was. Was it the Okay, right, so I think uh I think the teapot was last, wasn't it, before ours? Oh shit. I don't think this is correct, but I'm going to put it down anyway, just to see what happens. Yeah, so it's uh, the keyboard that we need for that one. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember if it was actually that. It could have been a trick question. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess that's what happens if you get it wrong. Confounded <laughs> magic tar. <laughs> yeah, so this one is the keyboard one then. Right, so... No, I think the next one is the teapot one. Okay. Even the devil dances to good music. Okay, so I need to go get the the teapot one was the teapot one downstairs on floor one I think keyboard oh no it was the top floor wasn't it Fire, so it was floor five then. Is there anything on the very upmost floor? Oh, please, God. Hello. Well, what do we ha what have we here? Prodigal squabs come home to roost. Oh, I didn't know anyone was in here. Everybody knows there ain't no fly in the coop on Big Boo. Big. Boo? That feather brain scheme of yours will never fly, my look, little chickadees. I beg your pardon? I mean, what's a couple of spring chickens know about cage birds singing? I'll uh, just let myself out. Yeah, yeah, go on. I'll just be here cleaning up the place alone. Uh, huh? <laughs> Very good talk, yes. Right, so this one... Yeah, so she's still wearing the stuff that she had on when she got her... Cattle's whistling, but for whom? My door. Well, 
Yep, this is acceptance, isn't it? It should be here. My apartment, my little nest. Please? Give me my life back! Day unknown. Hello, hello. Gloria, hey, are you all right? I've made booyah base, urchins and mussels, a treat from the deep. Gloria? Well, enjoy. Acceptance. <clears throat> How is the booyah base? Tasty, right? Oh, you haven't touched the food. I'm sorry if it's not exactly hitting the spot. Are you angry with me? Resignation. <clears throat> Hello, Gloria. How are you doing today? Found a new recipe for Kokovan. Get to tell me what you think. Yes? I have to go pick up an antique at uh, Drow for the master. Looks like you haven't touched your plate. You have to eat, Gloria. I'm worried. I made the best recipe I know for the nicest person I know, Pigeon Volavant. Gloria? Please? Well, you gotta eat, girl. You know that. Even if you don't want to. You're eating! I'm so worried, but I knew the Volavon would put the wind back in your sails. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, I'm bothering you. At least your appetite's returned. Why do you care? What do you mean? What the hell do you care if I sit here and starve to death? It's not like you want me here, your master does. Right? So why do you mind? Well, I... Because the master wants to take care of you. Well, it's pretty... Clear that you're supposed to be the master, right? <clears throat> and... And because I care, I just do. Is there anything else you might fancy? Nothing that you can provide. I understand, then... Well then, I'll be off for now. Hmm, Bob? Actually, I wouldn't mind something a little sweet. Of course, I'll do my best. What sweets would you prefer? I don't know. Surprise me. Okay then, I'll be right back. There's all messed up. That camera's still watching us. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything I can interact with, so we'd actually do have to wait. Can you smell it, Gloria? Fucking pancakes! Soothing scent of fluffy pancakes, fresh from the pan. With chocolate sauce on top, and not vomited on top of us. <laughs> yeah. 
It is, right? <laughs> Chocolate vomit. There goes the apartment. What happened? Spot the milk spoiled ages ago. It smells revolting. Where's my stuff? There's nothing I can hope for out there. Hey. Hello? Gloria, is that really you? Oh god, I was so desperate. Who is this? Why, it's me, sweetheart. Mommy? Finally, after all these years. I did everything I could to get you back. After that day. What day? Stay where you are, sweetheart. Mummy's coming to get you. Don't talk to any strangers and wait for me. Mummy is coming. Like how it actually comes up as mommy speaking. Hello, Gloria. Mr. San Luis speaking. Hello? Yes, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? For what? For the show, Gloria. For the show! You know, back then I wasn't quite sure you'd fit in. And I could see from the start it wasn't always easy for you. Adjusting to a new place, a new role, a new audience. But day after day, with each and every performance, you improved. You became more satiating. More enjoyable. And I can say for what I envisioned, you've proved to, you just proved to be perfect. What the hell? <laughs> Who is this again? It's me, Logria. <laughs> me? Golia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gloria? Gloria? How can you... I'm begging you to stay with me. Finally, after all these years, Mommy is coming to hug me. Oh god. For the show, Gloria. For the show. Where are you calling from? From the inside. Okay. Now what do I do? Is it the flowers? Okay. When love did not come seeking her, she searched for it instead. I need to find all the bits of that story, right? So that's the last bit. And squeezed. Right, so gotta do this in order. Right, nope. She sealed, nope. That's the last one. Right, that's the first one. This is the second one. When love came was... It wasn't this one, was it? No, shit. Oh god. Right, so when love came was... That one. Then she squeezed was... This one. I'm gonna wait for that thing to show up and then I'll try and find the others. Come on, I know you're there. It's the last one. Which one was the last one again? That one. Okay. Is it too late to change your fate to give us something more? Help me! Hold my hand, stay strong! I won't let you! Oh. Drown? Act 3. The Kid. Months later. 
Hmm. So we've been here for a while then. <coughs> How are you doing this morning? Not bad, a little stiff and sore, but nothing serious. Just dream so much, I wake up tired. Turn around, please. <laughs> Was it the apartment dream again? Same as always. Yeah, same as the past few weeks. It looked like my apartment, but it felt like it was somewhere else entirely. Somewhere different, uncomfortable. What's for breakfast? Was anyone else there? At breakfast? In the dream! Oh no, I don't think so. The place was empty, but somehow felt alive. Like it didn't want me to leave. So I'm here. <laughs> Someone looking in the window. In the middle of the apartment. And it feels hostile. It's just weird because it's empty. <laughs> I know I don't belong here anymore and I want to escape. But the moment I decide to leave the air becomes... Suffocating. I feel like I'm dying and I don't know why. And then, just like that, something changes. An idea. A new perspective. And it strikes me. What is this idea, Gloria? I don't understand. Hope. Even if I'm not where I want to be, even if I have nowhere to go, as long as I'm breathing, there is hope. And life feels tolerable again. It's very inspiring, Gloria. You can always count on me to help make your life good again. Not if I grab you and stab you in the eye. I'm not sure you can help with that, Bob, but thanks anyway. Smoke makes my stomach turn. These branches look indestructible. They seem to be coming from somewhere deep within. Deep within, eh? Not the bathroom. Hold on. Nothing? No. Let's leave before this thing rings again. Okay. Goodbye, Granny. Hope your kettle keeps whistling long and loud. Goodbye, Mr. Mysterious. I'm sure people would love to hear you conduct orchestras again. But that's up to you. I won't miss your mess, you two. Between us, darling, let him go. It would be better for both of you. Bye, I won't miss your crying, baby. But I wish the both of you all the best. Ah, screws loose. Just a couple. And then what happened? Nothing special. Took the elevator. Awesome. Yeah, right? Before leaving, I erased my name from my mailbox. But whoever comes after me... That's probably not where I want to be going. <laughs> Take one last breath. One last step forward. And it's done. I'm free again. Wow. No wonder you're tired. I hope these strange dreams aren't bothering you too much. If so, we'll make arrangements. Like letting me go? 
That's the one thing I can't help you with, Gloria. I know, but I can't see the harm in asking every now and again. Can you think of anything else that might make you happy? How about some magazines? I miss hearing about the world. Do you think your boss would be okay with that? I... I will have to ask. Yeah, drugs. What sounds good for breakfast? Scrambled eggs with toast and a lemon tea. Of course, how do you want your eggs? The usual, with sweet peppers and all that stuff. Very well. <laughs> she is completely resigned to doing this, isn't she? Pretty uncomfortable. Huh? Not bad, Bob. Okay, well, Bob is making breakfast. Gym time. Struggling this morning. This is so weird. What the that shit? Get yeah, better with the analog stick. Oh my god. Gloria? Ah, oh, Mr. Money, what do you want? I don't think it's good for you to have newspapers or magazines. Of course you don't. But some of the classics instead. Proust, Flaubert, Chateaubriand. Kind of messes the point of keeping up with the outside world. The outside world, an overrated concept. Here's the one who isn't trapped inside a cage. Now let me enjoy my day in peace. Today, it wasn't a bad day. Too bad I can't have the damn magazines. Bob, never met a nicer loser, harmless and obliging. The master, he was planning to hurt me. He'd have done it by now. He's probably even more stuck up than his servant. Won't even see me face to face. The pros of this life: no need to work anymore, shave my legs, or do the dishes. And what Bob cooks? Three star Michelin quality, easily. Acceptance. The cons? No parties to attend, no TV to watch. And I've kind of missed the sun. The Black Swan. Alda must have recruited a couple of new girls. Younger, flexible, naive, I'm better off here. Joy? She probably thinks I disappeared because she dumped me, egomaniac. Bet she's not losing any sleep over it. Freedom. Freedom is overrated. Luxury, tranquility, truffle omelettes. These are the values of today. What time is it? Must be getting late. I'll tell Bob to bring breakfast later so I can sleep in. Today. It wasn't a bad day. Too bad I can't have the damn magazines. We're doing it again, Bob. Never met a nice loser. Almost an obliging. It's actually making me put the inputs in that were done before. This is advanced cope, yeah. <laughs> she's just repeating the same things though as she's sleeping or trying to sleep. Yeah, just leave it. Just huffing that copium nice and hard there, Gloria. 
Hmm? What was that flash? Bob? Is that you? It there's somebody there. Was the light coming from this? Uh, is there something in my room I can sort of creepy swan bed isn't helping? Dummy can't remember if it was here exactly. What the fuck? Boo! I got you! Uh, what? Who? Who are you? How did you get here? <laughs> Grown ups are so easy to spook. You have a name? Guess. Guess. How could I? Never mind, Glow Glow. Let's play a game. We're too late for games. Wait, how did you know? You're no fun. Of course I'm not fun, I'm exhausted. But if you let me sleep, I swear we'll play together first thing in the morning. Awesome! Now we're absolutely tripping, are we? Do you promise? Cross my heart and hope to die. Where did she... I saw the master there. Wake up, sleepyhead. Rise and shine. Hmm. Gloria. Well, Bob, now you're waking up in the middle of the night too. Evans, no, it's 6 a.m. Technically speaking, it's already morning. And look what I brought you homemade croissants fresh from the oven. Well, technically speaking, waking me up this early is bullshit. Once Bob leaves, I'm going back to bed. You made these? I'm mean, the best for a guest. I've been folding the dough for 45 minutes. And how do we sleep, Gloria? Any more strange dreams? I don't know. I don't really want to think about it. Sharing your feelings is healthy. You want to be healthy, don't you? I don't know, Bob. All these questions. I just want what's best for, best for you, Gloria. But if I'm bothering you, I should go. See you later. Uh, no, no, that's okay. You want me to stay? Yeah, please? Do you remember my last dream? How I could finally leave my apartment and how good that felt? Of course. Last night's dream picked up at the same place like the latest episode of a TV show. Too bad I didn't bring any popcorn. So I'm standing in the street. Everything feels strange, but I can tell this is my neighborhood in Paris. And at that moment, I have somewhere to be. So I start walking. Have you seen these rambling roses growing wild and free? Much nicer than some fussy bouquet a man would buy. First bouquet I ever got at the Swan had wild lilies in it. Those were the days. Lilies don't lie. They either grow free and effortless, or you have to replant them every year and baby them. So much effort just to see them die. Lots and lots of issues. Nothing like a cool drink after a long day, right Victoria? It's the little things that make the hard work worth it. <laughs> Who are they? My former boss and my mother. It's the problem with dancers today. They expect everything to be served upon a platter. <laughs> Did you know she called in the middle of did you know she once called in the middle of a show and demanded I come and get her? Oh no, not this story. I sent her to see Mary Poppins. Kid like her, why wouldn't she love musicals, right? Nope, wanted to act tough and snuck out into something for adults. I barely made it an hour. Caught the ballet in tears, saying I had to take her home. Was that the movie? 
say it both at the same time. Was that the movie? I don't know. Some silly movie about a monster baby. Rosemary's baby, I was terrified. Did you pick her up? And tell the ballet director what? My child is an unreliable, immature brat? She made a bed she had to sleep in it. I was nine. I gave her so many chances to fix her own problems, but I end up cleaning every mess she makes. Wow. This parent. Let's go, Bob. Who knows, maybe someday we'll go to the movies together. Yeah, right. Bob. What the hell is that in there? Just don't drag me to a horror movie or musical and we should be fine. Fake on screen what I do for real, yuck. <coughs> Oh, we're back in Tentacle Paris again. Thank you for the follow, Cupcake Caper. <clears throat> Much appreciated. <laughs> then I'm back here. Cobblestones beneath my feet with these towering buildings looking down on me. A slight improvement of actual Paris. <laughs> now that sounds amazing, Gloria. Now for some disturbing details, it could be a heavenly place. <sighs> but I can't find this presence I'm looking for. A presence, you mean? Someone? Someone, yeah. Somehow. Man, maybe? Someone you know? And then... Then, tell me, tell me. Then, I, I don't remember what's next. I think there's where you woke me up. Oh no, I've interrupted your dream. Yes, dipshit. Without an end, this story doesn't make any sense. Sorry to disappoint, Bob. It's a dream, not a fairy tale. You can't always make head nor tails of dreams. I think I'll go back to bed now, Bob. Uh, you don't try the croissants? And made one hour folding the dough, remember? You said 45 minutes. They look delicious, but I'm not that hungry right now. See you later. Alright. Thanks, Bob. My pleasure, Gloria. Well, go on. Fuck off. So, see you later? Later? Oh yeah, sorry. I'll leave you alone. Alone, yeah. <laughs> Alone with myself. I guess we need to look for this presence then that's around here somewhere. Because you can't interact with any of these people anymore. Oh, hello. Is that who I'm looking for? Well, well. Look who came back after all. How are you, Gloria? I wasn't sure you'd still be here. Why not? Things haven't been going my way lately. Uprooting yourself is a painful process and scary if you don't know where you'll be planted next. I think I'm starting to understand what you said last time. You know about making room in my chest? There's something stirring inside me, I can feel it. But I can't see it or touch it. Maybe just listen to it? Listen to it. How? Why? Let's try something. First, close your eyes. And take a slow, deep breath. Now breathe out again. Slowly, deeply. Be aware of your breath. And in again. And out. Reminds me of that, uh, that sequence in Fight Club. 
where he's uh, going to his cave. <laughs> Can you hear it, Gloria? And then find your spirit animal. It's right there, always has been. My breath? Exactly. You need to listen to yourself, and the first step is to be aware of your breathing. Proper breathing frees you to pay attention to everything else, both inside and out. Where did you take us? You brought us here, actually. Space you created yourself. Eh, not bad. Okay, what now? You're the one in charge here, you tell me. Well, I've been cooped up for so long, maybe I need a place to stretch out. Stretching out? Now that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> Think of this area as a place where you can stretch out your perspective too. My own personal space, that's nice. So does that mean I need to come back here every time I feel stuck? It's up to you. This place represents your sense of hope. As long as you have some left, it will be here when you need it. Hope. Something in you wants to come out, Gloria. And it just needs a little help. A little hope. <laughs> Gloria? Gloria, are you there? Yep. I haven't figured out how to walk through walls yet. Okay, I'm coming down. What's up? After a chat this morning, the master sent me out shopping. And I have a little something for you. The vanilla macarons you told me about? Even better. Is it... This month's Cosmo! Wow! Magazine. Magazine! Thank you, Bob. You're the best. But the camera? The master? Don't worry, he's asleep in his bedroom. But we'd better go quickly, right? Gotcha. Shall I start? Start? Reading. I'm going to read it to you. Uh, can't I do that myself? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, otherwise it won't be any fun. Now keep it off camera, your boss will never even know. Of course. Of course you'd want to put your hands on it and read it yourself. Buying the damn thing was a mistake. I, I think I'll head back upstairs. I'll bring those macarons next time. Bob, wait! Please? Sorry, I was being childish. I've already taken a huge risk here, Gloria. I know, I'm sorry. Read it to me, I'll be... It'll be fun. Alright, off we go. Cosmopolitan, 1990. Oh my god. He's been around for a while. The February issue. Uh, skip. Yeah, I know, and I won't be able to see it. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Those fair... The end of... Okay, several models have spoken about abusive working hours, nightmarish management, and unhealthy diets. Despite the controversy, scouts manage to recruit new young girls every year, many of whom are underage. Okay, nothing new in the news. The outside world used to be more exciting than this. Hmm, can you find the horoscope? Horoscope? Horoscope. Found it! Okay, Gemini. New beginnings are weird. After months of complications, you're back on track and the, the horizon is bright. Wow, you know my astrological sign. Of course, your sign, place of birth, shoe size. Have you not figured it out yet, girl? <laughs> Allergies, blood type. Right, right. Ovulation schedule? That's okay, Bob, we get it. Keep reading the horoscope. 
Right. <laughs> Someone new will soon enter your life. Enjoy their company to the fullest. Be aware of negative emotions servicing around the 13th. They might harm you or someone you care about. What's today's date, by the way? I don't... You really shouldn't care about that. Hmm. Some ads for anti-aging cream, vodka, menthol cigarettes. Oh, there's a quiz. Lady Diana, Caroline or Stephanie of Monaco, which princess are you? Want to take it? Yeah, that sounds fun. Cool, I bet I can guess all your answers. Mm, first question. Bring it on, I'm ready. When you were a child, what was your... F uh, when you were a child, your favourite type of player was... Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Antoine. <clears throat> shit. Fucking quizzes. <laughs> Twan fell asleep while raiding, did it? <laughs> What's up, left? <clears throat> oh, uh, getting into mischief. Of course I have. Why did I even ask? Is a princess? How do you feel about your servants? Uh, you respect them. I agree, my lady. Your driver is waiting to take you to a gala. Before you leave, you have... A Big Mac. <laughs> a Big Mac! Right. You need a different personal chef for that one. Maybe someday I'll try cooking one of those American sandwiches. Your vacation home absolutely has to contain... A paraglider! <laughs> Why? That's so dangerous. What about vertigo or dying? The paparazzi find your secret hideout. You... Uh, hop in your sports car and lose them in the mountains. Why? You want to die in a car accident? Being a princess is hard. Under stress, you tend to throw up. <laughs> it's okay. Throwing up isn't the end of the world. <coughs> Last question. Pay attention. Okay, I'm listening. You can't get through everything alone. Your perfect match is a psychiatrist. <laughs> Why? I thought shrinks only for weirdos and psychos. <laughs> so, what's it say? One moment while I tell you the answers. <laughs> if you have mostly triangles, you're Stefan of Monaco, the re rebel princess. <laughs> rebel princess, eh? It doesn't exactly suit you. Keep reading, Bob. The uncomfortable dresses, the boring events, not your thing. Dynamic, audacious, and a bit sassy, no palace can hold you. A wild heart runs free, beyond its walls. You tell your servants not to settle for a miserable life, but don't demonstrate the pity when they're too dumb to understand. You know what happens when you answer randomly? Nothing but nonsense. Well, who gives a shit? That's what's most fun about it. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like this result. I wonder why I even risk bringing you this magazine. I think we'll have to stop there. The master could wake from his nap any moment now. The magazine, maybe? I can't give it to you, Gloria. I'm sorry. Maybe you can hide it upstairs so we can read it another time? And if the master finds it in my belongings? A woman's magazine, no less. He'll know it was for you. You'll find the perfect hiding spot, I'm sure of it. But... Come on, Bob, be a real man for once. Rise and shine! You're not up yet. What? Oh, it's you. Are you ready to play? Sure, sure. Just give me five more minutes. That's probably little Gloria. Hey! Hey! So give me a minute. Wake up! You promised we could play at dawn's first light, remember? I'm not sure I said it like that. Alright, stand back. I need to stretch. No, 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 no. Come on. There's not much time left. What are you talking about? I have all the time in the world. Besides, grown-ups need to stretch so they don't hurt themselves. 
Can we play outside once you're all stretchy? <laughs> I'd like to, but being an adult can be pretty complicated. I have a question. You like pirates or magicians better? Pirates? <laughs> I'm so bored. Whoops, shit. Yeah, the kid's distracting and it keeps going off in a complete different direction. These want to play already. It won't be much longer, I promise. Almost done. The delusions are happening even in the day as well. <laughs> Gloria? Ugh. Wake up, it's 11am already. Who gives a shit? What a restless night. Bob must have let me sleep in a little. Did he? I'll have a word with him. Get off his back, he's doing his best, okay? Seems you've taken a shine to him. He listens to me, he cares about me. Bob is a good man, indeed. Why don't you treat him with the respect and kindness he deserves? True, his treatment is quite severe. Cruel to be kind, is that it? It's what's best for him. And for you too, apparently. You've improved a lot since your arrival. Arrival? I guess that's one way to put it. I'd like to reward your efforts. With what? A philosophy manual? A bag of marbles? Tonight in the domain I'm having a... gathering. And you'll be allowed to participate after a fashion. Even if your friends are only half as creepy as you, I think I'll pass. Don't get me wrong. I'm merely offering you the chance to have a separate soiree down here. I have no interest in d d in what kind of things sickos like you find entertaining. You'd be surprised. I'll be handing off your party preparations to Bob. It's his idea after all. <laughs> Hello, Gloria. Kills us. Where were you? You look frazzled. Do I? Heavens, you'll have to forgive me. I've been so busy getting everything together. You mean for the party? Yes, indeed. I assume the master got you up to speed. Isn't he wonderful? It's all his idea, of course, because you've been so good. From where I'm sitting, it's his wonderfully kind servant who deserves all the credit. So, thank you. I've got balloons, streamers, confetti, and all the delicious treats you can eat, of course. But first... A little present to get us in the mood. A cassette player! Your cassette player! With stereo sound! <laughs> wow, thank you! I didn't know what to say! That's so cool! Press play, there's a cassette inside. Bleu et Bleu. Their first album, my favorite one. I've been paying attention, haha. <laughs> Bob, you're amazing. I'm the happiest person on earth right now. Now that we've got music, let's get this party underway. <sighs> She's decorating the place, oh my god. What the hell is that that she's put on the toilet? Alright, Bob, I'm done. You can look now. Ta-da! Oh, Glory, you're quite the interior decorator. Now that the room's ready, there's one last little thing for you. The key? What, another present? You'll have to open it to find out. Cool, but let's have a drink first. Wish I could really, but I can't stay. Wait, what? Yeah, I have to go. You're leaving me? I'll be alone for my party? 
Bob. I really wish I could stay, but the master has tasks for me. You've got everything you need to have a ton of fun, so enjoy, okay? Bob, wait, please? Have fun, Gloria. And you, you think you're a merciful ruler, but you're just a... Just a whatever. Let's see what's in that box. That's a dress. Wow, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Champagne rose and a Bordeaux should do the trick. It's the cake. It's a huge cake for one person. What was Bob thinking? Tip tips. Strawberries and cream. Time for a taste. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. I forgot how much I missed this. Missed what? Hey, you're right on time. Come in, come in. You just pass us straight through the gate. Wow, this looks awesome. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I have an idea for a game. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. All right. What do you say about a little game of hide and seek? Yeah, I'm hiding. I called it. You count. No peeking, okay? Let's start. Close your eyes. First to three rounds is the champ. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, not here. Nope. Nope. She's in the cake, isn't she? Nope. Found you. Oh, she's in the picture. Gosh, you got me. Try to hide better. Let's start again. Ready, close your eyes. Alright. Now we're playing with our imaginary friend. Okay. Not here. Nope. 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 Found you. <laughs> you. Need better spots, kid. Forget you're dealing with a hide and seek professional. <clears throat> Close your eyes and count again. I'm willing to bet that the entire place goes all weird and corrupted in a minute. Five, four, three, two. One. Okay, I'll let you off. Nope. 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 Got you. Hmm, I guess you win. Ah, yes, I'm the champ, the hide and seek legend. That was super fun. I mean, you had fun too, right? Yeah, maybe hide and seek isn't that fun after all. Fine. Okay, kid, enough games. Tend to put some gas in the tank. Next, can we go to the park? What park? Outside, the park with the trees and the toboggan and the small pond. Do you know how to build a tree house? What would I want a tree house for? It's fun to build and you can invite your friends over. So, can we go to the park? <laughs> no. <laughs> Have another puff. Shoe puffs are there. I'm not hungry anymore. I want to go outside. You know fun. You know what's more fun than the park? Dancing. Yeah. Did you know I'm a professional dancer, kid? Used to be the best.
Bugger, missed the last one. <laughs> glow, glow. Glow, glow. Wake up, please. Glow, glow. Drugs in the cake. <gasps> hey, kid. Give me a minute, we'll get back to dancing. Can we leave? I... I don't want to be here anymore. You're still eating that cake. Don't be silly, have a piece of cake. Bob made that, it's delicious. Kind of gross as well. Can we leave please? Go outside or somewhere else? Yeah, you probably can't see it on the stream, but there are flies flying around the cake. So it's probably been there for quite some time. Come on, eat that cake with me, kid. Fruit flies, maybe, if it's strawberries and cream. I'm not hungry, I just want to leave. Come on, just a bite. No, I don't want to. Fine, more for me. Just gorge yourself on the cake. Don't you want to leave too? Kid, look around you. I have everything I need here. Now oh, shut up and let me eat in peace. Let's go please, this room is small and sad. Might look like a small room to you. <clears throat> but who's to say we don't choose our own interpretation? <clears throat> huh? Sometimes all you need is a change of perspective. Yeah, acceptance. I don't want to change. I don't want to pretend. I want to leave. Leave? Ha! <laughs> Someone... Somebody teach you to work miracles? You naive little brat. Living in La La Land. Time to grow up and face reality. Shut up! No, you shut the fuck up! Let go, you're hurting me! I'm not the one holding you back. You're just a prisoner of your own mind. Sting. Shying away from reality. I can't. Drowning in fear. Breathe. But you can elevate yourself, kid. Eyes going red. Elevate. And finally. Be. Free. Act 4. The princess. Hello, dear. How did you sleep? Wow. Looks like the party was a success. Just come from the market. Merchants were still setting up shop. Endless rows of colourful vegetables, beautiful and unblemished. Just how I like it. Gloria? Yeah. You seem distant. A success, yeah. Is it the party? You didn't enjoy it? You didn't like my playlist or the cakes? Everyone looks so happy and proud. You can't blame me for not wanting to leave. Gloria, are you okay? An omelette and some toast should put you back on track. I'll be back shortly. But Bob? Han? Cakes. What did you say? Bring me pancakes with the chocolate sauce. 
Yeah, she's got bags under her eyes as well, so she is like completely done in now. The sauce drown them in it. I get the feeling it's been more than a day, G. <coughs> Grey braid? Are you here? Yep. So it looks like stuff has invaded her personal space as well. I need help. Gloria, I, I think I've done something very, something very wrong. Come here. There's nothing we can't fix. Oh, this we can't fix. It's too late. That little girl trusted me and I, I squeeze, squeeze. And so I did. I see. A voice from inside that you chose not to hear. I... I... What are you talking about? You need to reconnect to your feelings. To accept what your inner self is telling you, pleasant or painful. But I have hope already. You told me it was all about hope. That's true, everything starts with hope. But hope isn't enough. You need something more. Something abandoned and buried deep. Your intuition. My intuition? Your intuition will help you feel what is true, what is right. If hope is the wind in your sails, then intuition is the compass to guide you. A most effective tool, you'll see. On the topic of tools, I could really use a welding torch and some pepper spray. You said it's buried somewhere. Where exactly? Oh, that's the thing, only you know where. You're the one who buried it. Deep down, long ago. Bob? Bob! Where the hell is he? Yes, Gloria, I'm here. Hey, I'm hungry. I cooked a delicious cock of van for the master. Would you fancy a plate? Cake. Pardon me? I want cake. What about the macarons I brought you this morning? Whoosh. Disappeared. I don't think too much dessert is ideal, Gloria. My blood sugar's low. I can feel it. Plus, my tummy hurts. Wouldn't you rather have some medicine? Nah, cake is better, with cream. I'll feel better after. I... I see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, she is... losing it a bit. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, Bob! Bob! <laughs> Homemade whipped cream! Not the crap from the supermarket. <laughs> Gloria, all that screaming is becoming quite the nuisance. Oops, didn't realize that Mr. Money's office was so close to my bedroom. If you need Bob's help, use the intercom on the wall. Intercoms are for pretentious cows like you. Bob prefers to hear me out in person. <laughs> Look, how about you worry about all your master business and I'll take care of my own. Would advise you to rethink your tone, Gloria. Yeah? What are you going to do? Lock me up? New York, New York, that's beautiful. <laughs> She's just jammed the music on to piss him off. <laughs> if these stop fitting, Bob will be thrilled to shop for more. Got a date with you later, the toilet that is. Stop making that face. Right, 
What am I doing with this? I'll put it back on there. There, fixed. Intuition, intuition. Where would I have buried that? Is this basically... I guess this is... It feels like this entire area is her psyche. Which is why it's completely corrupted and fucked up somewhere. I think I buried it deep somewhere. Right, so we need to go look for her intuition. The place I'm looking for is probably even deeper than the Seine. Hmm... Excuse me. Alright, just look for an interactive place. may or may not be up here hmm. there's no way I can hop back it looks like the pipes have been closed off hmm. want to play with magic? hi greetings mademoiselle Gloria hello? how do you know my name? magic naturally I read it in the depths of your beautiful eyes let me guess life has been challenging lately yeah, well, it all started when... Alright, very touching story. How about a little magic game to brighten your day? Well, I have somewhere to be, so... Duty can wait. If you're even half as talented as you are lovely, you've got a real shot. And we'll have a lot of fun. So what do you say, Mademoiselle Gloria? Uh, sure, let's go for it. I suppose a little fun won't hurt. Let's play. But beware, it's a challenging game. Only the brightest minds will prevail. Sounds more like a chore to me. Behold my most marvellous creation. The pair matching game. Oh god. I didn't catch any of that. Eyeball. Uh, nope. Mouse. Uh. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> you can give me a hand here because this is going to be a bit of a pain. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we cheating. Let's just get this over and done with. <clears throat> Banned for spoilers. <laughs> oh god, in this case I'd rather just have the spoilers because this is really stupid. <clears throat> While you're doing that, I'm going to have a coffee at like 11 o'clock at night. Um, yeah. So, what do people think so far? This game's actually been really interesting, you know, in terms of the way that the story is presented and everything. It is pretty... I'm not going to say it's horrific, but it's quite dark. Um, and a little bit twisted, but it's actually really cool. I've been enjoying it so far, though. Mm. I expected the story to be like this because... I did watch the video the video essay which talked a lot about it, but uh you know actually getting to experience the story is like certainly different. <clears throat> Four top row, one bottom row. What? We've done one already. <laughs> 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 Come on, Kluvers! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 
It's not random, no, it's, uh... <coughs> <coughs> I think he's, uh, rolling back the VOD to see exactly where everything is. Hang on a minute, the card backs are changing. Every so often one of these changes to like the peacock front, like that one there. And then it changes back again. Huh. I only just noticed that. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> then we've just got bits of her psyche wandering around. Three top row. Cube. Four third row. Nice, thank you. It's a good thing you can actually roll back the VOD for this. <clears throat> I have to wonder what this magician actually represents. Is it her intuition? Or something else? Because if this place is supposed to be her psyche, first and second, fourth row. Hands? Yep, cool. Got it. <clears throat> yeah, if this entire area is supposed to be her psyche, I'm surprised it hasn't completely exploded at this point, given her mental state at the moment. <clears throat> I have to wonder, you know. I'm sure this game's gonna throw something in the works, spanner in the works. Five second row, second, third row. Hey, yo. Gotta be careful though, because we've only got one life left. Those are lives, Raccoon. <laughs> third, second row. This one? Yep. And fifth, third row. Eyes? Kluvers <laughs> underscore incoming. <laughs> that was fourth row, was it? Whoops, sorry. We got it anyway, though. <laughs> yeah. What was it supposed to be? Out of curiosity. On the fifth row at the bottom. Hard was it? So let me try something very quickly. 
Yeah, because they're supposed to be, what, five rows, right? I think. So this would be row five. Uh-huh. 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 Yep. <laughs> you can't fail it. <clears throat> you beat the game, Mademoiselle Gloria. <laughs> An amazing performance, bravo! Care for another round? It's an absolute joy to see your talents in action. Nope. Nah, enough. Quel dommage. You almost set a new winning streak record. You'll come back soon, right? Right? Wanna play with magic? No. What would you say that? Something about entomb, blah blah blah. I'll never find anything in there. Okay. Trees don't have much to say. So where do I need to go? In before we do have to do that properly. Uh, hold on, this forks off. Okay, right, so let's look over here. Ah, what's this? Man, when no roof breaks a heart, she turns back. Ah, uh, we need to find all these bits, do we? Okay. Prayers on the wall speak strangely to her. She's on her way. Man, this place is even more messed up than I thought. Also, it loops by the look of it. She remembers higher. There is a door she fears leading to the depths. Yeah, so this entire area loops. Also, I just saw someone go jumping off the side there, which is kind of concerning, but... <clears throat> Ascending is not free fall. She goes down, but emerges on the other side. Alright, so where's the last one? Right there. <clears throat> Where the stairs would have been. A wreck, looking for a way out at the bottom of his glass. She moves forward. Okay, do I need to find the final bit? There, under the filth stripped from his dignity, a human like me. There, under the filth stripped from his dignity, a human like me. Can't speak to this guy, right? If I look into it, I can see an eye staring at me. Hmm. Rays on the wall speaks to her. She's on her way. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go up higher so do I need to do something here I just saw someone just jump off there as well <laughs> oh, what's this not lost just buried ah so now I need to find these bits okay a wreck looking for the way out of the bottom of his glass she moves forward so we need to go speak to that drunk Is 
Did this guy? No. Oh yeah, it is. Right, so that's done. So the man with no roof breaks a heart. So that's probably the uh, the homeless guy. I think it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Nope, not this one. Man with no roof. Uh, man with no roof. Man with no roof. Man with no roof. Uh, uh, there's the guy that jumps off there. Can't get anywhere near him. Maybe I have to go back down for this? Because I'm not going to get to him. Oh no, I can't go back down. So everything is here then. So I need to go look for what this is. Right, so man with no roof. Man with no roof. What is it? Um... Yeah, I just saw that last one light up there, so that's the way I need to go for that one. Descending is not free fall. There's this one over here. What the hell is that last one? Oh, the middle one. Man, that's a nasty noise. So where the hell is this next one then? Because it's not this guy, he's done nothing here. Unless it's some crazy ass magic pixel I need to do this. Nope, it's not. Okay. I saw the, the fourth line go red as well. What do I do here?
Does it here I do this or not? Turns back. No. Okay, right, so descending is not free fall. Goes down but emerges on the other side. So you actually have to go in a certain way for this, okay. I get it now. It's a route this you take this. So here I actually need to find my way down to these steps here and then go up the other side. And then I need to go to that exit way here. Is it this way? There it is. Yeah, it's a route you need to take. Okay. Bit of a riddle. You don't actually have to inspect. You just need to go in a specific way around. <coughs> so she's heading back to the apartment, is she? Nothing there, is it? Not lost, just buried. Is it down here? Gloria? Gloria? What? Oh good, it's my daily dose of happiness. At least finest cake, tiramisu. Should cheer you up. Good. The spoon, small or large? What kind of question is that? Give me the big one. Is everything all right, Gloria? Yeah, everything's peachy. Well, everything except for your stupid boss. At least you have me. Right again. What would I do without you? And the tiramisu, it's to your liking? Yeah, yeah, very yummy. I'm feeling better already. You don't look better. Maybe I should have brought something for your stomach. I'm okay, I just need a sip of water to help it go down faster. Barf. Gloria! Enough, I'll get you some medicine from upstairs. And some cockavan too. Fuck. Gloria? Alright. Did her eyes just got purple there? Yeah, you probably can't see it, but I think her eyes are slightly changing colour there. <laughs> hmm. Better, actually. Way better. This stuff works miracles. Oh, that's a relief. How about bringing me a box of this stuff? Just in case. Sure, I'll get a few now. I knew the cake was a bad idea. Hmm? Did you say something? Ugh, the stench in there. It's revolting. What is with this, uh... Are they letting the trash pile up like this? Does that all lead further down? Can't open it without a key. Okay, so I probably need to get a key from somewhere. We're not here though. What the shit is that? A woman made of rubber and metal. Wrinkle of rust, everything must eventually turn to dust. Faded drawing, it's hard to decipher. Suffering sink. The victim of its own hunger or mistreatment by another.
think uh, Gloria's losing it slightly. Just a touch though. In the darkness, its sketch silhouette glows vividly. Wait a minute, so... This person? That looks like a rat. Ugh, looks like the parasites did it in. Seems like someone tried to draw the rat then erased it. It's with the tentacle door. I hear music coming from the other side. Portrait of an old woman, her form eroded by time. Portrait of a young girl, freshly etched in stone. I feel so numb. Music feels so soothing, like nothing else matters. Why would I stop it? That kind of worked. It's shaking like it's afraid of something. Can I even get around to it? No. Yeah, she just absolutely fisted that all the way across the room. Why are you lighting up a key? In the darkness, the drawing glows. It's like a woman. Got the key. Thanks, Mrs. Outline, or whoever drew you there. Yeah, let's try that key. Hmm? Falling. This barbed wire fucking thing down here. Alright. All right. Further, further down we go. Eyeballs in the walls as usual. A bunch of puppets, cuts and scrapes on their jute fabric skin, reveal a vulnerable flesh. Oop. Cube door. Gee, do I need the key for that other door? Hold on. Where does this go? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not entirely sure what I need for that yet. Let's uh, go to this door instead. Looks like your room, does it? Where the hell? Okay, let's not go that way just yet. Um. First, that's got a cage on the door, interestingly enough. So what's over here? What's this thing? Hey? Oh, hello. Outside voice. She still love Umbrella. Thanks again. Basement voice. It's great to hear from you. Where are you? She don't remember. It hurt her. The cage? Outside voice want more nails? I I think I'm fine. She like you. I like you too, basement voice. Oh, I've got to go. I'm looking for something precious down here. Oh, okay. Good, good luck, pretty voice. My god. Gloria, Gloria. Can't go through there because whatever's drawn on the floor is actually blocking me from getting around there. So I guess I probably need to go and do something in order to get through there. Wait, there's a, a doorway here. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I actually kind of want to go and see what's in that other doorway now. Just out of absolute curiosity 
that looks less like a cube and more like a cage. Huh. Oh, hello, dear. Surprised to see you here. Princess needs a servant handy. Especially when he's also a personal chef. I'm not princess, Bob. Do you fancy something sweet to eat? <laughs> I have some delicious cakes baked just for you. I'm good, but thanks. Yeah. Just a slice of one bite? No thanks. Well, I guess I don't need to do anything here then. <sighs> okay. Looks like we're Metal Gear soliding it. Yeah, because she doesn't uh, do the scream when you press a button like she did uh, the first time we went into the dreamscape. Oh, crap. Shit. Get fucked, you. Ah, so the lights damage them. Okay. There's some way to turn the lights on. Hmm. Yeah, easier said than done. Looks just my, like my fuse box back home. I bet this switch turns the lights back on. Turn the power back on, yes. There used to be a precipice here. Desperately deep. With the lights on, it's just a room full of children's drawings. <clears throat> Got everything in here that I need to. Train tickets, love letters, receipts, photographs. It would take a lifetime to make sense of all this. <laughs> List of all my shows at the Swan, including the ones I never got a chance to do. Memories? Nah, probably just memories or something. Ugh. Hmm? Basement voice, you still there? Hmm? Yes, she's still there. How did you get locked in a cage? Basement voice? Basement voice. the hell is this? Looks like the back of a garbage truck. Bet I can swallow anything you can throw at it. How to open this thing? Uh, is there a switch behind one of these, is there? How do you open the garbage chute? Probably a switch somewhere, right? Just hug the walls to see if there's a door anywhere. speak to that. Wait, there's another hole there, hold on. Oh, you can't get through there, okay. Right, so let's double back, see if there's a way you can actually open up that <coughs> um, switch thing. No.
don't know and don't care. <laughs> uh, you can't do this? Hmm. Come here, tentacle rat. Yeah, you can't grab the rats, sadly. <coughs> Journal from a holidays in Sardinia. I was 15. That all of the things I can investigate here, is it? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, same thing. Okay, so... What is that drawn on the floor? I get the feeling we might need to turn the lights off, perhaps. The problem is, is that we won't be able to get back in this room without the lights on, so... Let me go and ask this guy over here. <coughs> Hi. Hey again. Hello, Gloria. You know what? Actually, I think my blood sugar is running low. Give me one of those cakes. Coming right up. Have a Saint Honor, eh? A strawberry cake. A tiramisu, maybe? Whichever's the biggest. And a slice one could have. Give me the entire cake. Then, for you, I choose... the strawberry cake. Here's a spoon. No need. Just gonna shove it in my face. Oh, never mind. We're gonna chuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's just in the garbage chute room. There's like uh, markings that indicate that there's a uh, secret stairs, like, but they're only active when the uh, the lights are off. Yeah, that's exactly where we're putting it. Not down here though. Down here. Because if you look, there you go. You see how it goes like that? Shit. I knew it. Hey, hey, look what we brought you. Interesting, right? Good girl. There's been a change in tonight's menu. You're eating me instead. How? Ugh. Gloria, you are so messed up. Pretty voice! Hi, hello again. What happened? I thought something was wrong. Be careful. Pretty voice. Are you okay? She hears scream. I... I am, yeah. G good She feel better. Be... Be safe, please. Alright, I'll see if I can. Find a way to reach you. Somehow. Without getting caught by a crazy stalker person. Magazine though, right? Yep, what? Oh, it just moved that there, so I was like, what the hell is that? Right, okay. Nothing hidden here, is there? Nope. Okay. 
It's locked. Yeah, don't say. Right. Need a key from somewhere. Wait, hold up. Huh. Okay. Blue light the sky, silky light the night. <coughs> what? Oh, shit. Ugh. What was that? Oh, you are kidding. Well, this is no good. <laughs> right, I think I know where they are. It's just getting around them. Look. Ah, oh, shit. Do I need... Oh, okay. I have to trigger stuff. Shit. Some memories hurt more than others. Oh, those are memories, are they? How am I supposed to get around when I can't even see the pathway? Right. Painful. Yeah, they're quick. I'll probably have to wait a lot longer than what I am doing currently. <coughs> I didn't even see where you were. Shit. Get down from there? Fuck. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Oh, shit! <laughs> My god! <laughs> Oh, really? Come on, I'm trying to stay away from you. God. <clears throat> yeah, it keeps the light on at least, but my god, that's annoying. Right? <laughs> you can't even get in their line of sight without them charging at you. And it's not easy to tell where they are. Oh, fuck off. Fine, we'll brute force it. No! Oh my god, no, 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 don't you dare! Oh, you, you passed it! I nearly had it. Oh no, it's on, it's on, right, okay. So, can I get to the key now? Good, right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, why is this thing got a cleaver? Can you not take the cleaver? Alright, that's GDFO. Uh, nothing else here? No. Okay. What is that? Who are there? Basement voice? You reach her, like said. What, what are you doing here? I really thought I was getting close to finding my intuition down here. Cage. Maybe I can help you get out of here. L leave? Yeah, I, I'll just... She in cage forever. No leave? No, no, no. Come on, don't say that. It's too sad. Be not sad, she happy now. Because pretty voice is friend. 
basement voice? She just cage head. She stuck. You walk. You strong. I guess. Feels like I've been making the wrong choices lately. You reached cage. Yeah, but I don't see what I'm supposed to find here. She feel thing in belly. Open, please. Uh, okay. But this thing. Take it, please. What is it? Looks like it's stuck and it's really big. Would it kill you if I extract it? Unfortunately. No. Uh, ha! Ah. You, you done it, friend. It's that thing I wanted. It. Oh, now we maho shojoing. It's weird. I feel calm. That good. You leave now. No, I need to help you now. To help... For... For... Forget her. What? You're my friend now. Why would I forget you? If you... Forget... In... Memory... You... Free in head. She... Free from cage. Basement voice. Name is... Cage head. Cage. Head. Nice. Nice to have met you. New Moai accessory kit. <laughs> Uh, are we the, uh, from Bloodborne? <laughs> Make a lash. Knock knock. Oh, Bob. <clears throat> What's a cake of the day? Curious girl. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm preparing a black forest cake. With extra cream for our gourmet princess. But in the meantime... What's this? What a nice little bag. Is it for me? What do you think? Bag says Cartier, is it? Compliments of the house. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Princess has to have a golden necklace. No one has ever given me jewelry. That's... I feel like a little girl. You deserve it. Your bedroom looks like one, though. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thanks a million. Uh, is this... A bell? On the necklace? It must be a mistake, there's a bell attached. Original, right? Can't wear a necklace with a bell on it. Bob, I'm not a pet. The bell is what makes the piece so unique. It's a very fancy necklace. The master is very generous, but... Bob? Remember when you told me about your dream about hope? Uh, as long as I'm breathing, there is hope? In your own, in your own words, hope means breathing and breathing means moving. Now every time you'll move, you'll hear this little bell jingle. And that's the sound of hope. Come here. The sound of hope, you said. Exactly. In solid gold. Grey braid. Are you there? <laughs> I need your help. Hello. How are things going? I think I found what I was looking for. Deep down. It's great. And how does that feel? I... I don't know. You told me it, it would get better, but... Everything's still an ocean of shit. And guess who's still drowning in the middle of it? Gloria? You wanted me to find a compass. But what I need is a lifeline. Intuition works in mysterious ways. You need to give it more time. More trust. I don't have time, and I only trust what I can see. Maybe that's the problem. Close your eyes. This spiel again? Hmm. 
Okay, all relaxed. What now? Don't try to force it. Just let your intuition guide you. Keep going. Okay. Can I go around there? Uh, okay. So do I need to stand on this bit longer? Okay. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> Has this got something to do with the moon? Yes. <laughs> you can guide yourself now. What did I... Wow. <gasps> this space, it's... Changing? You're changing, Gloria. What you see is your hope and intuition and action. This is big progress for you, but there's really no telling what you'll find down there. Stay alert. Stay alert. You find a kid. I'm gonna shove the kid in there. Kid, I thought I lost you. I'm so sorry, kid. Forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, hello, Glow Glow. Kid, I'm so sorry. It's good to see you. Me too, kid. Me too. Wanna play hopscotch? Found some chalk down here. I would love that. I'll wait while you stretch. You know, I think I'm ready to play now. Super cool! Uh-oh. Kid? No! Gloria, what happened? Gloria? Ow. Now where'd she get off to? Where are you, kid? <laughs> Is that supposed to be Gloria and uh, Bob? You vermin! Come for the crumbs of my dessert, no doubt. What? What the hell are you? And it's talking to me, the princess? That's not allowed in this castle. Castle? Never mind. Where's the kid? Eek! Whatever does it want? The little girl. Tell me where she is. Now! Why won't it leave me alone? I won't just desert her. Did... Did it say desert? Ugh. Princess always has room for more dessert. Oh, shit. Pause off, vermin. You won't be so brave once I show you how the sausage is made. So I guess I gotta avoid all of this shit, right? Yeah, okay. Oh shit. I saw down there, okay, so it's a sequence I need to press for that. Okay. This looks like a boss fight, yeah. <laughs> oh my good god. Oh shit. So, right. Oh my god. 
Get away from me. There's a lot of symbolism here though, right? Oh, oh fuck! Balls it up. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. I keep messing up the, the sequences though, because I'm going a little too quickly. So I just need to be a little bit patient. <laughs> Rank reset, yeah. Uh, I've been caked. You won't stop me. Tough talk. Maybe you've bitten off more than you can chew. It seems like you can only take like two, maybe three hits before you get dunked on, so you have to be careful. Got a little greedy on that anyway, so that's fine. This at once such tasteless behavior don't you see this is the only way so much time marinating in this boudoir until finally we become what we've always dreamed of the most magnificent monarch the world has ever seen yeah that's pretty much her oh my god you <laughs> see how fast she's eating shit 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 oh my god up up right up, right, down. Ah, fuck. I should probably use the D-pad for that. God damn it. Right. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to the walls at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid getting killed by profiteroles at the moment. No, why? This was our recipe for success, Gloria. And you tore it to pieces. Kid? You're alive. Uh, what happened? Ah, uh, will you teach me to stretch, Glow Glow? When I become grown up? I'll teach you anything you want, kid. I mean, the amount of cutlery she's got here. Ah, breakfast and there's a note. Master needs me elsewhere. Hope this delish, delicious pavlova will tide you over until supper. Yours, Bob. Take a dump. Don't forget the flush. looks a little haggard at the moment though <laughs> you just take the dress off take the necklace off is it time is she actually gonna try and escape now nope oh she's tidied up Found a focus. Sorry, it's already quite late. Master ordered me to. Wow. Hey. Well, this place looks like new. 
How is the... Oh, you haven't even touched it. Starving yourself won't make you feel any better. I'm feeling better than having a while, actually. Oh, really? Can't believe fasting's a new fad down here. I'll have to get you a fresh pavlova tomorrow. This one will be goop by then. Don't bother. I'm over it. Make no mistake, I'm done with cake. But what? Why? Just feeds the wrong part of me. And your necklace? You... you're not wearing it? I took it off. I figure I don't need a chain to go with these bars. But what about the sound of hope? The bell makes it sing, right? The bell drowns it out. Fancy dress, the fine food, the luxury gifts. Pretty varnish over a pile of trash. What? It's not like that at all? Boob. Bob. I'm not a guest, let alone a princess. So take all this stuff back to your master. This prisoner doesn't need them anymore. Gloria, no, it's not like that. Everything the master does, he does for your own good. You're a sweet man, Bob. The only mistake is trusting that monster you call Master. It'd be easy to hate you for that, just like I hate him in this place. But feeding insatiable hunger is worse than starving. Do you know what I mean? I am not sure I do. But I'm fine. Life hasn't been all bad, I guess. There have been a few bright spots. Like what? Well, your arrival at the mansion? Great, my kidnapping is a high point. There have been other things. Like... Like... I get to read to children sometimes? You do? True, I volunteer at a local school when the master gives me time off. Children are so attentive and thoughtful and they don't judge others at all. That's how we all should be. Can't say I've had the best luck with kids or with adults for that matter. But you must want a family someday. Hard to say from behind these bars. What about you? Well, it's... I need a miracle. You know, I need to become rich or strong or good looking, ideally all three at once. But no, I'm just a boring butler who knows too many cake recipes. That's not how I see you. Not only are you a great cook, but you're smart and sensitive, not to mention putting up with an awful boss. Plus, you volunteer your free time to help kids. Have you ever noticed that you don't see Bob or the Master at the same time? And how she hasn't noticed that either. <clears throat> I don't think I recall a point in time when I've ever seen Bob at the gates and the master actually speaking at the same time. <clears throat> hmm. Food for thought. Anyway. Plus, you, vo you volunteer your free time to help kids. You've got nothing holding you back? Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're locked in a cell. Yeah, exactly. You never even see them or hear them at the same time. Do you really think so? I'm... that I'm a good person? There's another life waiting for you, Bob, if you want it badly enough. Gloria, that's all I've ever wanted. Let's let hope be the wind in your sails. And intuition the compass that guides you. Ah. Now give me the key, dipshit. Huh, what's this? There's a letter. You can't confine a princess to the dungeon of her castle. A man would gladly be a knight. Serfdom is such a hassle. If she considers carefully, does not become a nerve. She may yet find the key to what they both deserve. It's in the fruit bowl, isn't it? Nope. Is this a test? Or a trap? It... It... It opened. The 
Bob steal the key from the master? Or maybe this whole thing was a game show. Maybe it's the kind with a cash prize. Bob? My lady? What is all this? Welcome to my domain. Where is the master? The mansion? At first, at first I thought it was the only way. But then I got to know you. We learned to trust each other. There we go. <laughs> and you opened my eyes. Bob, this is no time for games. The master could arrive any second now. Right? I mean, have you not noticed what's on the sideboard there, girl? Take a look on the desk or the, the drawers on the right of the screen there. <laughs> right? There is no master, Gloria. I made it all up. I had to. You know that. Why? Ever since I met you, it's always been you. The museum? You taking my measurements? September 1980. Almost 10 years ago. Oh, so she's now 39. It was your first night at the Swan. Mine too. No, okay, so he's talking about the first time that she was there. You were so beautiful, yet so sad and lonely. Sad and lonely? Because I felt exactly the same. Yeah, so it was actually, he's talking about the first time she was at work. <coughs> so nine years ago, yeah. Wish I had the guts to talk to you after the show. Kept coming back year after year. Hope that one day I'd find a way to help you. And then one day... You can relax now. Oh my god, creepy stalker. It'll be alright. Are you going to... to... K kill me? Gloria. Have I ever hurt you? I... I... I'll keep taking care of you. Of course, you still won't be allowed to leave, but... You'll have to run of the house along with me. I've already prepared a room for you upstairs. Until you feel comfortable enough to move to my room someday. Freak. I don't want to rush things. So what do you say, my lady? Gonna fall backwards, isn't she? Ready for a brand new chapter with a real Bob? I'd rather die. Act 5, The Phoenix. <laughs> Gloria? Gloria! Are you hurt? <clears throat> what the hell? Give me one second, let me just check something. Um, yeah, don't. Just need to confirm one thing. Suddenly, where the hell are we? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, she did a swan dive. Very, very gracefully. Um, I'm actually going to leave you on a cliffhanger. So, because uh, I need to get some sleep. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to call it there for tonight. And I'm going to pick this up tomorrow and finish it off. I just checked how many acts there are on the six. So we've got two more chapters to go. 
Um, so hopefully I'll catch you for tomorrow's finishing of this because this is actually really, really good. Um, I've enjoyed this quite a lot. But we'll find out what happens at the very end of this tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you'll have a good night. I am going to try and find somebody to host. And I will send you in their direction. And uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, Vampire Panic. Okay. So I'll send you to Broy again. He's not playing Baroque, sadly. <laughs> um, I would like him to play Baroque, but never mind. But yes, thank you very much for watching and hanging out and helping me out with everything. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. If I don't see you tomorrow, have a good rest of the week. Um, yeah, I'll catch you later. It's been good. It's been very, very good. But yes, laters. <coughs>